everyone and welcome to a commentary long play adventure in my better minecraft world we recently built this beautiful cozy little mining outpost and today we are going to be working on building an iron farm to add to our area because well frankly i'm i'm always running low on iron and just you know having an iron farm would just be so much better so that's the thing we're gonna work on today from our last episode we made this little segment that i've been kind of smelting up some of the iron that we have in here as a way to kind of help prepare for probably you know all the hoppers and things that we'll need for this iron farm project so that's uh that's kind of the idea that i had and as far as location for where we're going to be putting it i'm i'm thinking that we're probably gonna place it right on top this hill here kind of right where this tree is right here that's kind of the spot that i think the iron farm is gonna go and this way we can kind of create a little path up and over here to get to it and we can also connect up our waystone build our little gazebo around to this side to it as well and i think it's gonna be a really great fit i have some other ideas for this spot over here and then we'll just continue building out our area but i think this spot will be really nice to add it in now before we actually start working on our projects i added a new mod that is literally gonna be more just of like a quality life thing for uh, this iron farm and bringing villagers over here project now if we go into our inventory i believe if i type in is it cell yes i don't know why it's called cell but it's a capture cell so i guess that does make sense but i added the portable mobs mod and so this is the only one that i've actually added all these other mods that are in here they are defaulted to better minecraft and this is the only one i added in here and basically all you have to do is grab your little pod once you make the little cell and then you just go over to an animal you right click on the animal and then it just goes in the little little capture cell kind of like a pokemon thing you know gotta collect them all but i think this will just make it so much easier to just move some villagers over i tested in creative and we can pick them up so i think this will be great so we just have to create all these iron bars for the sides of it chest and sticks so it is good that i just was collecting some iron because we're about to go and use this so i think this will just be so so helpful and then i'm thinking that we'll also use this for when we're also going to be looking to create some what is this is it six how do i oh it's a door how about that not that how about that yes 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 okay so we've got this we've got sticks now we need chests okay i'm very curious to make this so we go like so and then we've made one. Ooh, look at this look at this we've got to do advancement craft a basic capture cell so basically the difference between the basic and the master is just basic is a one-time use so if i grab a little piggy put him in here and then i release him again this thing breaks if we make the master then we get them for as long as we want them i guess so i i don't think we have any obsidian but it's always worth oh my gosh we do oh my goodness this is even better okay add that in oh we got it it actually looks kind of cool too look at that so oh my gosh literally i was just mentioning like a pokemon gotta catch them all gotta capture them all craft a master capture cell that's actually so funny i i love that um that's great and i do want to have a few of these so we can i think we're missing no we can make more of them oh even better okay so we're missing the iron bars so we do have to make more iron bars but i think what i want to do first is once we get these all crafted up i like the idea of going over to the village and even if we don't end up like releasing the villagers here in our area we can still just let them out just so that they're in our area but they're free i have no idea if you can just keep them in here infinitely so i'm really not gonna risk it 
So uh, I think we're just gonna craft three of these and then go grab our villagers. I don't think I'll have an issue getting the, uh, the zombie because I can just use one of the three, but since I need three villagers for an iron farm, it'll, uh, it'll just be easier. But I think I wanna leave this here for now. And the other thing that I kind of wanted to do before we get started is I found a cool music disc that I think is more like Christmassy because this says snowy spirit, right? And then I happen to have, there it is, a jukebox. And I, I wanted to see what this disc would do. So let's, let's have a listen. Okay. Oh, I like this. Look at this. This is like a, I feel like this is like some slow-mo run with this in the background, like slow-mo running through a field, you know, or something. It's very relaxing. I'm a fan. Oh, I like how it tells you in the top left corner, it's telling you the disc it's playing. Ooh, oh my goodness, so fancy, but I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna stop because I don't want YouTube to copyright me, but, you know, I think that's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of fun. I was just really curious, honestly, to see what that would be like to, to play it a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of playing it, and I do know that it is night outside, so let's just take a snooze really quickly. I'm excited to finally have a, uh, a solid iron source. I think this is gonna be really cool. And I really like the idea of having these little capture cells. I think I've seen in some other modded series and videos that people can use a lasso. And I did try looking for a mod that gave me like a lasso that I can just kind of grab them with that. And I couldn't find anything that was like a lasso that did what I was wanting it to do. So this is our, uh, our solution. So if you'll excuse me, I think I just click on you. No, I shift. Hmm. Okay. I need to figure out what I did. I, uh, I did a special little, it was an alt. Wait, what was alt? Oh my gosh. I can make myself lay down and crawl. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's so funny. Was it this? Um, okay. I'm gonna figure out what this is. Uh, one moment. Okay, I think we just need to shift click. Oh, we did it. We've got them. And what does our little advancement say here? Capture a mob using a capture cell. So I'm curious. Oh my gosh, it gives me the name of the villager that I captured in here. That is, that's actually so funny. Like, I'm sure it would say a sheep. So we've got someone in there. This is so weird that I actually have, like, villagers in here. Um, Joseph, you're gonna come with me. Capture successful Joseph. This is so strange. <laughs> kind of like it, though. We could have a nitwit, but I think I actually kind of want uh, villagers I can have give jobs to. Um... Ashley, I want you, right? Ashley, yeah. So we've got Ashley, Joseph, and Robbed. Robbed, is that how you'd say it? I feel like that's how you'd say it. I've started just leaving some of these little villagers here because I'm trying to get Unbreaking 3 and Featherfall 4. I'm just trying to, you know, use our villager friends to level some gear up. That's how I was able to get uh, the, the fortune and the mending on these. Those are, those are the main ones. Hi, dude. You you saw nothing. I don't have three of your friends in my inventory. It's fine. Yep. None none whatsoever. <laughs> I still can't believe this works. And then we can let them out. But I think I'm gonna keep them in my house for now. I I really don't want them to end up uh like getting lost somewhere. That is my concern. And I think we're just gonna make them a little like boat they can s sit in um we've got one boat i think we'll need a second you know and uh then we'll be good so if we just have two boats this should be good i'm very curious how this is gonna work but i'm also really excited that we have this and uh, let me think they're gonna be him and hawing a lot so maybe 
we uh we put them over in the actually we could put them in the cow pen in the, the little house here and they would just chill like they couldn't get out if i put something in front of it so maybe we just do that then they then i don't need to have boats everywhere and they can't get out so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down probably like a, a trap door maybe one of the little slabs and that will prevent them from leaving i think this should work perfectly so i'll just use the pink one it's kind of fun to have the pink one okay this should work and then we can have them free roam and i'll give them i want them to be like toolsmiths and weaponsmiths i think that would be nice to just have those types of villagers around here so let me see if i go like so you i can get out but they can't so if i go like this all right and i think i just shift and then right click <gasps> there we go okay yes perfect they can't get out and then we just go boop and boop <laughs> that was so easy oh i'm so happy for these things the the one thing is they do not stack they will take up all of your inventory slots so if you're gonna use this and like grab like a bunch of animals just keep that in mind they do not stack but you know in modded it works great because i have a backpack and yeah it's a it's a nice little time here but that is the latest mod that i added i don't think i'm gonna add any additional mods like i want to play this as though better minecraft had created it but i mean if you look at where we live guys um i would have to bring villagers across this over there and i would need to like pull the villagers i was looking at this on the map I would need to pull the villagers from our village over here. Which means that we're going through this forest. And then we're going down a ravine. And the ravines. Or I'm going all the way down and around here. So like, I'm, I wasn't about to do that. So literally, I just added that one for more of a quality of life thing. And frankly, uh, my sanity. I, I did not feel like doing that with the villagers. And now we're done now they're just chilling so that's that's great i'm i'm happy everything's great i'm gonna put these little guys in here for now we're set to go and i couldn't be happier so that is the exciting thing that is uh gonna take us a lot less time so it's, it's very nice but as far as the area this is the place that we're going to be building it right in here. And I am trying a newer style of roof. So you know me and how great I love, uh, how great I am at roofs and how much I love them. And well, today we're doing a different roof style. It is in line with our fantasy type of build theme, but at the same time, it's also something new. I had found an Instagram uh, creator that makes amazing builds. And I'll link their Instagram in the in the description so you can kind of see. So I wanted to try the roof style that they um, put up on their Instagram just because I want to get better at different kinds of roofs. And since we're building in a fantasy style, I, I wanted to practice more fantasy style roofs. And the only way I'm going to get better is if I practice the build styles and, you know, play around with them in creative, which I was doing earlier with this specific roof and just, you know, testing it out, trying it, using it in different videos and just trying my best to learn because roofs are always tough for me. So I, I want them to look pretty. I want to be able to learn a wide variety of roofs so that depending on the, the theme that I'm doing for a series, I kind of just like always know like, I have, you know, tried different roof styles, seen what other people can do, kind of create my own after I feel comfortable with the style that they've done. I feel like I usually will like follow what someone else has done and modify it or just like change certain parts of it to fit what I want it to be and something that fits me. But when it's something like a brand new build style, especially just, uh, you know, using some inspiration some some other creators to help kind of you know 
well, make it easier for me to build a roof, frankly. So I'm excited. Um, I think it'll look really cool with our area here. Now, most of our roofs have been either a spruce roof, we've done the Sakura wood roof, and we've just done that for the other two is mostly Sakura, but I thought that today we make the roof out of calcite and the roof trim is going to be Sakura. And then we're going to copy this same bottom layer where the corner bits are going to have spruce pillars. And then we're using some granite and the brick as the bottom layer. And that's gonna kind of be the build. The roof shape is gonna be kind of taller on the sides, but on this long side, it's gonna kind of be like a curve, a gentle rounded edge roof down at the bottom and kind of curve in a little bit. And I think it'll look super fun. So I'm excited to try something new. So that's the plan, which also, since the plan is me trying to learn different roof styles that are brand new, it means that I also might uh, struggle a bit. So never feel bad if you struggle with a certain part of building. You know, I feel like I still am figuring out the styles that I want to build in, all of that. And it just takes time. You, you figure it out, but I totally understand feeling frustrated if it takes you longer to figure something out because believe me, I have been there and I understand that. I feel like, you know, everyone starts somewhere and the only way to really improve is to just go for it, start, you know, just work away at it. And me trying to get better at the roof styles is one of the things that I'm trying to improve since I'm not always the best at, so. If there's areas in Minecraft that you're ever just like, I'm so bad at this, like it's just, I feel, I feel like I'm just terrible. Just know, you know, you're not. You're, everyone is at a different location in their building journey and you shouldn't compare where you're at to where someone else is at. And I know I'm really bad at just being a little too hard on myself for feeling like I'm not good enough. Uh, cause I just see people that are already like so much better than me, but I have to, you know, give myself grace, remind myself that they are further along in their building journey. They have more experience with it. So they, I mean, should feel like they should be better. Like I should expect that if they've been working at it and trying different things for years, they're probably going to be way better at it than I am. So. To me, it makes sense, but it's also kind of like a frustrating, like, oh, I just want to do more, be better at it, get further along in my building journey and all of that. So don't, uh, don't feel bad if you ever feel like you're behind, you know, no one's ever behind. I don't think, I'd say there's no such thing as like being behind in your building journey because you start when you're able to start or even your Minecraft journey, you're starting when you're able to start and you know, you just do whatever you can do and try not to uh, cause yourself too much stress, you know? I think that's uh, the important thing. Now I'm gonna go through and just grab some of these Sakura trees so that we have more wood. The one building block that we're going to need the most of is going to be calcite. So we, uh, we're going to need to find probably a geode just because the only calcite bits I have here are just around my, my little uh, sad rock piles and that's about it. So that's one thing we're going to be trying to look for is a amethyst. And from what I remember, I did a live stream where we were exploring a, a zombie catacombs. And one of the sections I'm pretty sure ended up having an amethyst geode that was kind of like stuck in it and kind of just like naturally generated in it. And so I want to probably go look around for a little bit. Oh, there goes a... I want to go look around for a bit back in the crypt. I already went through it, so there's not going to be any mobs in there. On the live stream, we went through and just lit it all up, got it all torched up, so nothing's going to be uh, spawning. At least it shouldn't. Um, otherwise, I missed areas. But it should just be pretty straightforward looking around the map. Uh, using our actual like map icon to kind of zoom in and see if we can pinpoint where it is. 
but I think it should be good. Like, it should be a much faster source of calcite. I, I do kind of want to find one of those calcite mountains. I feel like that would really, really help. But I haven't seen one yet. So I'm not exactly sure. We don't really have like any mountains that are like gray. Like this is a, a ravine, right? So there's no just like caverns. We've gone exploring out here some. So like I'm looking for something like this, but I would need it to be just stone with white stripes. And I don't really think we have any of that. There's a village, that's nice. Also, look how this is dotted. There's this, this, this little tiny baby piece, this one, and this one, just tiny little bits, which is kind of funny. But this all seems more just like the stony, yeah, stony shores. So it's not really gonna help us find anything. Stony peaks, actually, this could be good. What if I waystone this? That's gonna be very far. Wait, though, that's the thing. It's like past, uh, it's past Russes. Like, look how far that would be if we do that. That's a, a long ways. Also, we've traveled a lot. Holy moly. That is crazy. Oh, this is the village. This is, I think, where the zombie crypt is. That is crazy that we're like, we've gone that far. I like how you can see where we've traveled, though. I think that's so cool. What a fun mod. Also, I get really nervous when I go into this little map mode here. I get nervous that mobs can see me when I'm in the map and I could just all of a sudden get attacked by something. I'm not sure if that's how it works. I hope that's not how it works, but I feel like that could be a thing. I could see that being a thing. So I'm always a little bit like, okay, don't be in your map for too long, you know? Gotta be sparingly about it. Ooh, hey, uh, fortune. Oh, this vein miner. I forget what I, um... Yeah, okay, so vein miner is on this pick, and basically I have to press my keybind, so I keybound it to one of my uh, keyboard keys, and then I just press the keyboard key, and then use the pick, and look at this. It got all of the coal, which is so cool. I think that's such a fun little feature. So if I do insert, oh, I didn't do have it on the right pick. So I do insert, that's the one I put it on. Oh gosh. Well, it's gonna clear out of space for me, that's for sure. But yeah, I can use this as a normal pick. It doesn't have to be used for vein mining, but I do have to make sure if I do wanna use it for vein mining that I actually press the, the button. I press the key that I key bound it to. Otherwise it's, it's not gonna work. So that's something to keep in mind, but I think I want to grab some dirt and we're going to fill this hole in. I don't think there's anything like valuable down here. I can find dripstone elsewhere, Ooh, but we'll take this. Okay, so if I do my key bind and the coal, look at that. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Just to collect things quicker. That's the main thing that, se that seems most interesting to me. But I don't think I'm gonna uh, use this little, little space here. So let's just grab some dirt and then we're gonna cover this up. And that should be good. But I'm, I'm very excited to make this, uh, this iron farm. I've never made an iron farm in modded Minecraft. Which, like, I don't think it's gonna be anything different, but it's kind of just fun to be like, ooh, like, what will this be like? And then I think if I hold the experience nuggets, there we go. Nice, we've, oh, we don't have mending on this. Oh, I was holding it for no reason. We have mending on these ones. Silly me. We're silly me, okay. We've got this. Now I need a dirt and I don't have a lot. We're keeping the grass block. Um, I don't have silk touch yet. Yeah, I don't have silk touch yet, so we're kind of just leaving those there. Also, I found these boots, and I think I'm just going to strip them of the bad enchant and the unbreaking so that we can use them for something different. But we found a ton of tools just in our last live stream, so we do have a bit of just diamond equipment. I think backup diamond armor and tools I'm interested in. I also just want to have more pickaxes. 
I think that's what I care about the most. So that's one of the things that we're going to need to kind of uh, pay attention to when we're trying to, you know, use our diamonds, get the villagers that will give us those enchants, hopefully locking them in and hopefully they end up giving me pickaxes because I think the pickaxes and axes are going to be the things I'll use the most. But because we do have the, uh, the axes with just like a one hit kind of does all the work for you thing. I also just want to, uh, you know, make sure that we're spending more on the pickaxes since we will need more for the pickaxes. It's also kind of nice that I'm like pushing this back a little bit and we're also going to be able to get some of the, uh, the dirt from this, which will be very helpful in getting some of the rest of this filled in how we want it to be. I also don't want there to be stone, so I'm going to fill this in like that. And we'll go like so. And I think if I use the vein miner, let me try this. If I do vein miner, keybind, or no, this was the key bind. There we go. Oh gosh. I don't like how it goes down. I don't need it to like grab that much from for me. <laughs> it's a little much. <laughs> I mean, it works. <laughs> Gives me way more than I need, but that'll be nice for some things. So I'm kind of excited to have that feature. It'll be cool. Something unique to modded, just having the ability to collect all the ores at once for something. And what's also nice is like, if I don't want that to be the case, I don't have to use the, the vein miner. I can just leave it alone, which is kind of cool. So I'm happy about it. But I do need to be careful. There we go, get all this filled in. Now, as far as a color palette for this build, we are going to keep it the same kind of colors that we've had on everything else. And I think it'll look really pretty. I did try messing around with adding in some oak or some other colors for the trim or different parts. And it really just didn't look as good as what we have already. So it kind of uh, confirmed in my mind that the color palette that we have, I really like and I want to keep it that way. I find it funny how lately I've been needing to collect dirt. <laughs> like, I think it's so funny. Sometimes in the early games of Minecraft, I, uh, I end up just, I realized my armor was showing. I just throw out the dirt when I'm like running out of inventory space. I'm trying to collect things in the beginning of the game. So I'll just throw out the dirt and then not too long after, all of a sudden I'm like, you know, it's helpful to have it if you're like, you know, trying to get everything uh, all evened out. You're trying to do some terraforming, but here I am, you know, just throwing it away because in my mind, you can always get more dirt, but then you do have to spend the time to collect the dirt and do all of that. So it's kind of funny that lately I'm kind of like finding myself just, I have to collect dirt. But honestly, I feel like just even collecting resources in Minecraft, I really enjoy. Like, it's a simple thing. You can throw on some music. You can watch some Minecraft YouTube. Like, this type of a video right here. You can do so much. Just throw on a movie. Something like that. I know, uh, lately I have started just watching different movies. Like, the other day I watched Frozen 2. And just, like, some fun, lighthearted animated movies I've been really enjoying just putting those on in the background as I'm just you know enjoying some resource collecting getting things done for different projects I feel like having something on in the background always makes it not feel as difficult to do all the tasks or doesn't make it feel as like I guess just uh time consuming or just kind of keeps you company so I think that's always nice. Or I'll just uh, put on some some streams from different 
creators that I enjoy watching because oftentimes they're also resource collecting and doing things so it's kind of like a body doubling where it's like you're doing it with them you're, you're getting the things done you're both being productive it works out the the word body doubling to describe something like that is kind of new but it makes sense you know like you're you can feel like you're side by side doing it together a little bit of teamwork you know just being productive feeling like you're not the only one doing it especially if it's more of like a grindy task just knowing like other people are working on stuff too. Like always at least makes me feel a little bit better about it all and about the, the tasks that I have to do. I think this last little uh, fill-in spot should be everything we need. We'll see. Because this is about where I want it to be. Um, I actually think I'm gonna get rid of this. then this top bit looks a little bit more flattened and organized and better in my opinion so we'll just add those guys in here okay and then like that oh and we'll replace that stone so we'll make sure that all of the the area looks good before we start building the build itself is going to be about um, it's like an eight wide. I know it's eight. It's not a, not an, it's an odd number or an even number. Okay. <laughs> Who else does this? I feel like I'm such a silly person, but I always get confused when you say even or odd. And I feel like that is such a basic thing, but I always, I always mess it up. Whether it's like an even one or an odd one, even is like a two, four, six, eight in my head. And then odd is like the one, three, five, seven. But sometimes I'll just second guess myself. Actually, I quite often will second guess myself on those things. I'm like, this is it, right? No, right? And it's, it's great. Okay, now I get more doit from elsewhere. <laughs> uh, hang on, I feel like this spot. We'll pull all of this dirt off of here. What's also nice is even though I'm having to kind of like run around my area, I will be flattening a lot of this out. Like I don't think I'm gonna leave this little curved in valley right here in between these hills. I'll probably flatten this a little bit more. So it's more of like a gradual hill like this is, and then kind of just continue that. So like some of this will get flattened to an extent. So um, I'm doing something that's still like good for the area. We're gonna slowly do some flattening, but it's not gonna be anything too crazy. But we do need to make it look nicer before we do the real work. Cause so once this is built, I don't want to like have to terraform under it or anything. I just want it to be done, looking good, all of that. Also that's, this rose needs to be moved. Okay, so let's see here. Now this is very, very uh, not terraformed here. I wanna fix this as well, but that's more of like the path work. And part of what I wanna do today is also work on the paths, but I think I wanna get this build in place first and then we can kind of set up the paths where we think they'll, uh, where, where we think they'll work. So let me just grab these guys. And I feel like we can just move them inside temporarily. We'll put them in here with the sugar cane. There we go. Also, I uh, I love this the bubble blower. It's literally my favorite thing. It's so cool. I think I've showed this to you guys before, but I just, <gasps> whoa, I'm invisible. <gasps> whoa, that's cool. <gasps> I didn't realize that. What on earth? <gasps> what? That's so cool. Oh my goodness, I'm learning new things. But also, you can like walk through them and they pop. But it just sounds so good. Listen. I love it. And then. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. 
it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's out though. I think I can't use it right now. I need to go repair it. And I can go repair this somewhere that's a little spoopy. We found it from when we did our mining entrance. And I think I want to go uh, and visit it. So we're going to go to the, the deep dark that we found. I torched it all up. So we should... What the heck is this rope and nail? <gasps> Wait, we can have hammocks? Do you guys say hammocks or hammocks? What? But, but if I can't place a hammock... Hammock. Oh, hammock, hammock, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I could make this now. <gasps> no way. Six string. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I wanna, I want to now make a hammock. I, I wanna make a hammock. But I wanna, I wanna fix up our bubble blower. Cause it's just such a cool tool. <laughs> These are the things we start off our episodes doing instead of normal things. It's fine. So we're just gonna run down here. Run our way down the staircase. See whenever we start noticing the, uh... But I feel like I need to start kind of just opening this up even more because the top of this is just... I think still a little low. Like, I thought I did pretty good at making the ceiling pretty high up but i still feel like people will bump well i will i keep on saying people other people me i will bonk my head like this is head bonkable height right so we fix we fix the head bonking height so that it is not a thing and maybe this will make me run quicker but there's a, a patch of okay don't like that no thank you no thank you yep nope that's not what i want mm -mm. no thank you i'm good don't need that don't need caves <laughs> but there's a patch of deep dark and this will be our kind of way to get some quick xp and i'm actually kind of excited that we have this as an option i'm not moving that Okay, now we get to the deep slate levels, which is good. But I think whenever I need a few XP levels from just working on the enchanting table or anything like that, I want to just use uh, some of the deep dark. Some of, is it, what's it called? Just like the skulk? Got the skulk blocks. Those with their XP. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like we're right here by it too. So this will be perfect. And it should fix up our bubble blower. I think I just uh, accidentally used it all the way so it doesn't, you know, work for blowing the bubbles anymore. But it's like such a fun little tool. I love it so much. So I want to make sure it's always good. Okay, so let's grab our hoe again. And then I'm not going to like touch this room because this is the cool spider spawner. But this room. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's repairing it. Eight out of 250. And then these guys. Wow, it's so cool. And these little experience nuggets. But I love that. Yeah, so this will be the easy way we can fix everything up. And it's really nice. So that's kind of the idea that I had. This is how we'll uh, fix anything up. Any tools that we need to fix up. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to just come to the deep dark section right here. Pick up the things we need. And it'll be great. And we get some enchanting levels. You know, it's a good time. Oh, the echo. Oh, my word, the echo. Wait, listen. This is kind of funny. <laughs> oh. 
I still can't get over the fact that I become like half invisible. That's just the funniest thing to me. I love it, but I, yeah, the, the bubble is my new favorite little, little modded thing I found the other day. That was one of those presents that I opened up inside the village. Uh, pretty much stole someone's gift. Um, so I feel a little bad about that, but I mean, come on. I, I had to bring it home with me. It's just too cool. It's just so fun. Oh gosh. I didn't. I forgot that there was something over here. Where's the wiggly guy? Hi, wiggle guy. Get rid of you. Yeah, no wiggle guys. Should we get rid of another wiggle? Oh gosh, there's two wiggles. There's two wiggles. I get rid of two wiggles. There's no like screamy boys around here that I know of, so... Grabbing wiggles should be fine. Yeah, look at that. We grab the wiggles and we're good. And I'm gonna put a torch down there actually because me using a torch here is not gonna work when I take it off with the skulk. But I love the skulk being able to be a source of XP for us. It's kind of like a fun uh, way to get XP, you know? It's a... Uh, we'll get XP through trading iron once we get the iron farm set up, so I'm excited for the iron farm. That'll just be nice. Oh, there we go. And pretty soon here, we'll have our bubble all fixed up. What are we at? We're at 250. We got it all fixed up, yay! Oh my gosh, so, so cool. So cool, I love that. Okay, well this is all fixed up, and then we got to the end of this. So at this point, this is the only section that we have for the skulk, which, I mean, that means that it's fine like it's finite like this section that we have is not gonna last us forever but it'll last us a little bit i like that i can click and hold this and it just gives us our levels and it's kind of a fun sound i love it i love the bubble but um yeah that's that's all i wanted to do so now we can just head back i'm taking the string now that we've kind of been like looking in these just because if i'm able to make a hammock with string like that just, that just sounds so fun i will gladly take a hammock okay but we got that figured out now we're just gonna go up all the way so off we go i'll take a little bit of the, the deep slate i also need to eat some foods because i'm gonna be very hungry as we come up the staircase but yeah I'm, I'm glad we have a staircase now and someone commented that I could have just like made my tunnel and my strip mine down inside the cave system that was already existing like the really large one here at the top of these stairs and I definitely could have but I wanted to have more of a strip mine type of a staircase I wanted it to just be ready and set up to add like a minecart system and I just wanted it frankly I wanted it to be a straight shot I didn't want to have to like curve it and I want to be able to decorate this how I want to and I just didn't feel like uh, going in an open cave I wanted it to be more of like a an official like mining outpost thing not necessarily going into a, an existing cave so Mostly just personal preference for me. Like, I wanted to do it this way, so I did it this way. <laughs> but definitely, I can see how some people might be like, why are you doing it that way? Like, this doesn't make sense. Um, there's there's better ways. But that's uh, that was something I was like, you know, we're just gonna go straight down. I want to. Okay, well, we've got our bubble, and I'm gonna put it back in here. This is kind of our chest for the different more modded things like i have a calendar that's kind of fun reminds me of stardew valley a quiver not exactly sure what to do with that but we've we've got it <laughs> but uh now we can just add the different things so i'm gonna put these over here this is stone so we'll put those in here the granite i'll take with me the calcite i'll take with me and i think i was leaving yeah flint was in here too now i'm putting my bucket back in here and 
I think the space itself is pretty cleared out. As far as where we'll build. I don't have enough calcite or granite. So those are the things we're gonna resource collect for first. But my idea for today is we're going to first work on building this out. And actually I should probably just figure out exactly where the, the shape of the place is gonna be. And then we're going to build the, uh, the iron farm just so that while I'm building the fun build on top of it, I can, uh, you know, make sure that the, the farm is running properly and then the villagers don't need to be where the cows are. So, yeah. <laughs> Not like their alternative is any better. They're going from living with cows uh, to just having a zombie scare them for the rest of their life. So not exactly the best alternative and location for them, but you know, it's, it's okay, it's fine. Now, let's see here. I want to use a water bucket to just grab these. I wonder if this will work on the, oh, it does work on the little petals. Okay, that's cool. We'll just clear out some space here. It will get the torches, but that's okay. Yep, there goes the torch. I was like, it's gonna pull one of my torches, isn't it? Dude. One thing that I wish water would do is push sugarcane around. I had wanted to set up just like a field of sugarcane, and then I remembered that like, I could, uh, I had the thought that I could just like, set up my rows of sugarcane and then drop a bucket of water over them and then it'll move them all, like break them all down and they'll just all funnel into one spot. Not the case with sugarcane. I, I did remember. So I was kind of a little bummed that that wouldn't work. But let's see here. So the middle of the place, I feel like, let's do this. So it's gonna be five wide. So if we do like one, two, three, four, and five, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like so, let's take a look at that. And the roof is gonna be wider. So the build is going to be eight wide and five long. I guess you could say that however wide. This is wide, this is long, you know, either way. It's eight and five, and the roof is going to be 11 and then 14 up. So I need to just make sure that I'm remembering it's gonna go 14 up, just so that, you know, I, I don't have to redo <laughs> me working on this a bunch and I need to keep these where they are because we're going to be using these as stripped spruce logs for the pillars in the corner so these are kind of let me grab some these are gonna go right in here like so and then be stripped like this and then these are gonna go up four so that's what these will do, is just be on this outside edge. And that way, even though the build is gonna be a very little build, it's gonna be a baby build, right? So like on the inside, there isn't gonna be a lot of room, you know? Like eight across and five back, it's, just, it's, pretty, it's pretty small. And then we're just, you know, we're having just the, we're having two doors here. So it's just a baby build. There's not gonna be a whole lot to it. We're gonna have, a ladder downstairs to be where we actually go and you know set up all the iron farm related things like that is the plan so i need to make sure this is all kind of not this is spawn proofed i don't want any i don't want mobs coming but then it's really gonna be just kind of the build over top of it and i'm gonna put some storage in here so there's some if i type in sakura they have some like dresser drawers that I think are gonna be cool. So we'll have some dresser drawers to kind of make the front side of things look really quaint and small, kind of like there's storage for it. And I think it'll be nice. It's a smaller build, but mostly I just want to have an iron farm, a place to have some iron above ground, the extra tools, cause I wanna have tool smiths and weapon smiths so that I can have extra armor and stuff. So I think temporarily I'll just leave the extra armor and blocks in there, but this will just be a spot where we're going to have the, the iron farm kind of entrance is mainly what this build is going to be for. So I think I like this shape, this position of this. I legit might move it one more over, over this way. 
which sounds kind of funny, like, just move it over once. But I want to. Sometimes, you know, you just get something in your head and you're like, I'm, I'm doing it this way. Like, this is what I want to try. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remove this. And I literally am just covering over my little uh, ladder down spot, my little hole that I just created to get down there. But let's look at this. Further away. I like it. I also just love how there's particles in the air because of where we are. Oh, it's beautiful. Literally one of my favorite things. All right, we've got these guys. And we've got these guys. Now, this isn't gonna be calcite. This was just temporary. We're going to be using brick and granite for the bottom, but I think we're gonna definitely need more calcite. This is not gonna be enough, but more than anything else, I'm gonna need a lot more uh, brick and granite and diorite. Those are kind of like the main three that I wanna collect first. Spruce I only need for the pillars, so this is pretty much going to be what we need for that, like we're good. And then the edge is going to be a Sakura, and the doors and trap doors are going to be made of Sakura, which I love how there's just a little pattern on them, I think it's so cool. So that's kind of the idea, and then the roof will be that. So we're going to go on an adventure, we're going to look for diorite, granite, and I have a bunch of bricks, I'm writing things down on a little sticky note like IRL sticky note, uh, just so I remember what I'm looking for, right? I don't know if you guys ever do that where you're like, okay, write it down, don't forget, <laughs> so you don't have to go back over what you were just uh, trying to figure out and you can just, you know, have it all sorted. But I think the bricks will be good. Uh, we're just using these to blend in with the granite. So let's go find some granite. Also, I'm gonna keep these for like pots and things. So this should be enough granite. The base is not that big. It's a little baby build. And I think we're gonna swap out the blocks just so that the block palette is correct from the beginning. So we're gonna do, pick up these. Pick up these. Oh falling down okay it's fine it's it's fine i'm fine <laughs> and then like so all right perfect and then let's grab the spruce we can put those like right here and then this will go like so. And then we're going to put the doors right here. So then we'll go like so. I have one left. Look at that. <laughs> One brick left, which honestly, I don't, I'm gonna just leave it how it is for now. It'll work just fine. And then we're gonna have this be three for sure. These side ones I think are gonna be at four instead of three, but for now we'll just leave them three high. Just cause that's what we have for the bricks right now. Oops, this was supposed to be here. And then we'll just match these to the same height they were at. Pick up this one. Yeah. And then, uh, so with the Sakura, we are going to have kind of like a little window. Uh, we're going to have this be here, this be here. And then these two kind of go like so. And actually, I just kind of realized we need a we need a little crafting table. So let's make a, a spruce one, and then we'll take a little snooze because it's nighttime. I'm trying to just build as we go, and then grab the supplies as we need them. And since for now I have enough brick, you know, I figured we might as well just work on the other things too. But then we'll go like so, and like so. And then we're gonna end up having some spruce. I forgot I had my little crafting table here now. And 
then we'll grab these and then we're just gonna have two spruce little chairs there and then this is gonna end up being a spruce floor so we'll just put those there now and that should be good okay i think i need solid blocks for the other thing i'm thinking we'll try i think i need four yes i can get four so i also thought about putting these trap doors here because i think that'll also look good for it i have a in creative mode i usually will just work on the build and so i kind of just am going off of my screenshot of what i kind of put together in creative mode so that's kind of the the fun thing and i need another door i wish you could just make one door oh someone was saying there's like a wood saw saw that is not <laughs> jigsaw block you can make a jigsaw puzzle what um a wood cutter wood cutter those none of those look like a wood cutter hmm, okay someone said there was a way that i can use the uh maybe it was the the stone cutter but i can use it for wood let's test out this theory real quick if i just have normal planks i thought someone on one of my better minecraft videos yeah this doesn't go in there now i do know that we can pick this up and if we throw things like throw wood planks on it you can make little slivers okay uh probably has to be just regular i can't use like modded so uh, for now, we, we, we put that project literally on a shelf, like so, and we deal with it later. But I was about to say, like, I wish we didn't have to have three doors. Like, I just need one door, Mojang. I don't need all of them. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't need all the doors. <laughs> it's, it's just kind of funny to me. And the other thing I want to make for this front area is I want to make those, was it blazing? blazer what are those light things they're like really cool and this isn't helping at all i've used them before i used it in our mining entrance what were they called a brazier i think i think maybe they were called a brazier these little light things what are they called brazier okay i want to make a brazier braze okay brazier there we go Okay, so more of the iron bars and some coal or charcoal. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's quickly make some of those. We have some light around here. So then uh, we just go like so. And then go like so. Nice. Okay, I actually like really like using these. I think they're probably one of my favorite more... To me, they seem a little on the medieval side, but they're just kind of fit the like fantasy medieval vibes a little bit more. But I just, I just like how they're different. It's like a campfire inside a little, you know, iron bar, little cage. It's just so cool. It's also funny to me that it's like, these are lights, but this is an open flame and it's not catching my roof on fire. Like, I'm very happy that it's not, but like, it's, it's kind of surprising at the same time. But yeah. I think it's uh it's very fun so this is what we got so far i also like how both of the doors open at the same time so helpful but then this is gonna be where we start digging things down for the actual iron farm and since we now <laughs> since we've got kind of the start of our build we've got the bottom layer there won't be enough space at the top for like a second layer and more storage right now so it's gonna be pretty small this is literally gonna be it but i think we can start just working on the iron farm side of things and i do want to just remove the floor so i can put spruce in there so we will do this as well but i think we just kind of start working on digging things down for the uh the space so that part of it i am going to need to use a tutorial on the side 
but I think what I'll do is I'll probably just take a quick pause every so often, watch a little bit forward, and then just start working on it again with you guys, and that way hopefully it's not too interruptive, I guess, is probably the best word. You won't ever hear the video, but just, you know, the constant back and forth. Also, I think in my last what video, I found this flower crown headwear thing, and you put it around a leather cap. But this just doesn't look cute. Like, this looks like it would be cute. But like, what? I'm sorry. So, I'm curious, okay? We're gonna... I have some of uh, what you can use for it. This stuff, this wild cucumber. I feel like this would be a cute flower for a flower crown. I don't know if that is going to be the case, but we will try it. So, I want to try this. I want a cute flower crown. If I can have, like custom flower crowns because of this like hello like this just doesn't look cute like what on earth am i making like how what is this okay let me take off my helmet let's let's show my armor again oh <laughs> that kind of flower crown. <laughs> oh gosh oh does this do anything oh that Oh, this doesn't look as cute as I thought it would. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny though, I have to admit. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And then if I take off this and this, let me see. I kind of have a green stem. A little bit. It's it's a little cute. Um, a little Halloween vibes. I definitely thought that the it would look more like these flowers put together. And it wouldn't look how it looks. But it's 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 something, alright. <laughs> okay, yep. Nope. Well, that's kind of a an unfortunate bust. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. But you know, it's it's still fun. Uh okay. <laughs> I'm glad I tried it, but like, oh that's that's not as cute of a flower. Like, this would be cute if that was around my little little face. I'd like that one a little bit more. We also still need to go to the bubble zone, which is a whole nother thing. It's a whole thing and a half. But I was just, I was so curious, guys, to try out the flower crown thing, and it, it, it did not deliver how I thought it would deliver. And let's see here. What I'm trying to do quickly is put away extra blocks that I won't need. And I'm quickly gonna just check to see what we need for our items to make our iron farm and then we're gonna collect them. So I think I need hoppers and I put them somewhere. I, I know I put them somewhere. I think they're downstairs. I know I'll need hoppers and I know I'll need the chests. Aha! I think I'll only need maybe two hoppers, question mark, not positive, but I think we'll just need two, actually, it looks like I only need one, so I guess the, uh, the extra iron that I was collecting, I didn't need as much as I thought. Now, I also need a lava bucket, so we need to go find some lava, and the rest of these things, we're just going to start collecting from blocks upstairs. So we need some like walls, different things like that. And let's see what blocks we want to use today. Ooh, we will need diorite for our project today. So we'll grab that now, just like so. Let's grab some of these br stone bricks. This is going to be underground where the farm is. I'm also going to just grab some cobblestone. I think I want to also smelt some of this up so that I can have more of the stone brick. So let's just put that in there and that in there. Okay, now I need a two walls. I need 10 slabs. And we'll need some signs, a trapdoor, a ladder, a water bucket. So I've already got a water bucket. Now I feel like, oh, it's gonna be sleepy times. 
will sleep once I put these things in here. We'll sleep at the top up here. But I'm just kind of gonna start moving over the things to make the actual farm into a different chest over here, just so I can kind of start getting an idea of what I've collected so far. But we've got two walls, we've got slabs, we needed two chests, we need the one little hopper, we're going to need 10 signs, and then we'll have the lava bucket. Two trap doors, which actually I'll just use the Sakura ones, why not? We've got them there. We'll need a bunch of ladders, a water bucket, we'll need three, which I have one already. So I think, oh cheapers! hello Mr. Enderman. Wow, that was kind of scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't necessarily think I need three water buckets. I just need a space to have a renewable water source. So we'll grab water from there, and then grab water from there, and then we'll just kind of go through and just uh, fill the water to kind of direct the golems towards the lava. So I'm just gonna come back and get water. And then we need some solid blocks, so we'll grab some of those. Diorites for building, so is all of this, so we'll just move that over here now. And then it's saying we'll need the villagers. We'll need a name tag. So we need to come up with a name tag for our zombie friend. And I have plenty of name tags from our adventures. I still can't believe how many. Look at this. I have three stacks and 12. Like, <laughs> we are good on name tags. So that's, that's fun. I'm very happy about that. I also have tons of these books that just have all these different things on them. So I kind of like the idea of just adding these on to different things. We've got sweeping edge and sh sharpness actually might be nice to add on to this one. Bane of arthropods. We do have that spider spawner, so that's going to be kind of nice. We'll make a separate sword for that one. Sweeping edge two. We can add a sweeping edge three. Soul stealing is also interesting. It's like, what is this? But I think uh, we'll just add those onto our sword. But I needed signs and some glass. So I really like using just the regular white glass, like none of the colored glass, none of that. And I needed just seven. So we've got seven glass. And then we need solid blocks, we need 24. I think I wanna wait till the stone is changed over and use some of that. So then let's make some ladders and then we can change them so that they're really pretty. Um, I think I'll need a lot more than this. So let's just, I think this is just how it goes. If I'm not mistaken. And for ladders, I need at least 10. So uh, we've got nine. We've got a little extra on the ladders department. Solid blocks, water bucket. We need, uh, we won't need to worry about transporting the villagers, so I'm not super concerned about that, but let's see if I have a full stack yet. Not quite, but I wanna use the stone bricks. I think that will be much nicer, much prettier. And let's go swap out what we have for the little ladder type while we wait for the rest of that stone to get all cooked up. I think if I remember right, there's like a very interesting looking metal. <gasps> oh, buddy, we've got to help you. Hi, buddy. There you go. There you go. Are you good? Okay, we'll, we'll fix your button too. There we go. All right, so if I put these in here, yeah, there's a metal ladder. There's a railed ladder. Some of these look super interesting. Um, I feel like it would make sense to make the metal ladder, but I'm pretty sure if once I have this metal ladder, I can just bring it back in here and change it. So that kind of works. So maybe we'll just uh, take the metal ladders because it kind of fits the theme of this being more so the, uh, the iron farm. So I like that idea. So I'll bring these supplies up to the top. I need to figure out where a lava pool is. That's the one thing I can't really remember what we did. So then we've got the hopper. 
Oh, I need to make a bunch of signs. So I think the signs are just like this, right? Yeah. I need 10 signs, so we'll just have a bit of extras. So now we've got the hopper. We'll leave two there because we've got 10 signs. We've got our lava bucket. We've got our trapdoors. We've got our ladders. The water bucket we've gotten taken care of. We almost have enough for the solid blocks. And then I'm looking at my side monitor. We've got the glass. We need to name tag our little friend, give him a name. And then I think that's all that we need. So we're, we're almost done. We just need the rest of the solid blocks and then to name tag it. So that shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too hard at all. Now, let's see here. A name tag for our little zombie. I feel like my favorite thing that I've done is um, named it Frankie, kind of after Frankenstein, but in one of my first series in single player that I did, I named my zombie Frankie in my 119 series. And then uh, we're just gonna continue on the Frankie tradition from Frankie being in 119 in that world. And then uh, he accidentally ended up dying. <laughs> And so we just, uh, we, uh, called him, fr we made a Frankie Jr. after the fact, so good, good times. I'm just gonna let this continue smelting, but I don't need all these extras. But, um, I'm, I'm actually kind of, I think it's fun, you know, to keep the, the Frankie tradition going from series to series. I did a wintry series and I named the zombie, uh, the Grinch. So I thought that was fun. Okay, so we've got the water bucket and then the solid blocks. We've got a full stack. We've got the glass and we've got the name tag. So this is everything that we need. So we have to start digging out and we need to find lava. So those are the things we're gonna look for next. I'm just gonna put things away in my inventory so they're not as like busy and messy. And I also want to uh, put these goodies on the sword. So sharpness. Hello? Um, am I doing this wrong? Am I doing this? Why didn't that show up before? Sweeping edge three. Does sharpness knock on a sword? I, that is, okay. Am I just crazy? Is it only on the axes? Huh. Okay, that's good to know. I guess that kind of checks out, like, you, you have a sharp axe, so. I guess I just wasn't thinking. And then I want to add mending to this as well. Silk touch. We'll add mending, because I want to keep this sword, and I want it to stay good. So we'll add some mending to it. And then, I also, this has mending, this has mending. Vein miner doesn't have mending. So we'll put sharpness back and we'll put mending on this guy. So we've got vein miner and now it has some um, mending so we can go get them all sorted. Okay, I feel good about that. Now the rest of these things I'll just put away in here and then we'll go upstairs. I'm also running out of food so I need to be mindful of that. We'll put that away, we'll put the dirt away, and then we don't need the bone meal, so I'm gonna put the bone meal away. I still can't believe <laughs> how the flower crown looks. I thought it would be way cuter, and like, okay, when you type in flower crown, like, it just makes it seem like you're gonna have all these pretty types of flower crowns, right? It just, you just kind of assume that I'm gonna have all these options that are so cute. Not so much the case. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that was uh, still s still comical to me. Do I have any extra food? Okay, I have extra golden carrots. We've got our little capsules. Now, let's see if we can just see a lava pool above ground. Maybe if I get out here. All right. There might also be some lava pools above ground. There's one over here in a ravine. Maybe we just check to see if I can just see some lava in this little pit over here. Because I feel like... I want to say I've seen lava in here. Unless I'm just like... Oh! Didn't want to just 
yeet down that side, but sure. Maybe I was thinking of something different. Because I definitely, if we just do a little, little drop down. For some reason, oh, hi guys. For some reason, I thought we had lava. And I don't know what made me think that we had lava there. But I definitely thought we had lava there. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty. So we're just gonna... Go on a little adventure for some lava. I could start working on the farm and then... Go find lava. But I think we'll just start looking now. And I'm gonna just head towards this spot on the map. I, th I have a feeling this is just like pretty far down there. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay if we have to go adventuring a little bit. I haven't really explored down this way much. <gasps> oh, there's a little bee nest. How nice. But, we'll just see. Oh. That's a cave. Okay, so it looks like this direction. Is that an ant? That sounded like it was an ant. Alright. Where's the lava pit? Any lava pits around? Oh yeah, there it is. We'll sleep first. Oh, I'm about to get got. Actually, hey. Can I save you? In time. Beep. Zombie. I wonder if they're gonna be burning when we open this up again. <laughs> Hopefully not. That is, that is not what I'm hoping for. I, I don't want to deal with a burning zombie. We just have to also take them out and, uh, um, how do we, how do we want to do this? Let's take some dirt. We have to take them out and name tag them first. Okay. Oh, hi, zombie. Maybe we try for the one that's not hurt. <laughs> I, I take that back. They're all hurt. Um, are you really gonna... Are you gonna go in... Okay, you at least know not to go in the lava. You at least got that going for you. You're like right on the edge, though. You're just living it. Yeah, living it right on the edge there. Okay. Lava acquired. There's some iron down there, but... In a few minutes, we should have iron being produced, and we won't need to worry about any iron ever again, and then I can decorate with it without feeling guilty. <laughs> we can decorate with some cute little poppies. I do like how modded poppies look. It's just so much more vibrant. I like how it fills out more than just one poppy for the area that it's like placed down in like you get at least five right i mean if you count this as one this is one you get more but like there's five branches there's four around and then one at the top which is nice but we've now got everything so we've got the walls we've got the slabs we've got the two chests the hopper 10 signs the lava bucket trap doors ladders the water bucket solid blocks of our choosing and some glass and the name tag so that is exciting and then we have our villagers and a zombie and we don't need to worry about transporting anybody so we got everything we need now we just get to uh kind of you know start working on this i do think i want to put spruce down here first just so that we have like the floor how we want it and then we'll start digging it out. And also the other thing I want to do today, <laughs> the uh, the kind of just like burning, kind of chaotic um, little, little burn pile over there, the little altar, I will take that down today. Just because, I mean, if I want to make a cute picture of our area or a thumbnail or anything like that, I don't want just that ominous looking thing in the background so we'll get some good blocks and it'll be nice but we wanted to get spruce so then some spruce planks some other spruce types spruce slabs and we should be good 
just a little mix, mix around, that'll be good. But this will be the first uh, farm, like auto farm that we've made in our little modded world and I'm excited. I just assume it's gonna be the exact same as everything else. So it's not like it's gonna be like, oh my goodness, like what is this gonna be about? So I'm not like, too concerned. I also want the full blocks to be around here. So we'll move some of these around because I don't want the ladders to get messed with because the slabs like can easily go over here because you don't even see that it's a slab, you know, necessarily once they're placed. So I'm going to keep it that way. And then go like so, like so. Like so. And then... I feel like this is nice. It's not too much. It's a good amount. And then we'll put that there. Perfect, okay. So we've got our little... This is such a small space, it's kind of funny. Um, I also like and don't like how the blocks from below that they're touching kind of blend into this current block because that means I can't have just dirt here because these bricks are trying to kind of blend in between the blocks and it looks like I have just dirt crawling up my walls just on the inside though which I guess it's not going to be that bad I'm going to put some like slabs or some stairs here to create kind of like a little shelf I also might still use those uh, Sakura dressers like I was talking about earlier, these ones. Which then it would fully cover and then I don't even need to worry about like replacing those blocks. But there we go, I'm excited, yay. Okay, so now we have to dig a lot. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna put the extra things that we don't need in here. I will want more torches just because it is probably gonna be a little bit uh oh that's where my sticks were i was like i was pretty sure i had more sticks than this but i'll want more torches as we kind of light everything up i also know for a fact that we're probably gonna have some caves to kind of uh go in try to light them up and make them spawn proof so we might have to make more slabs but for now, I think we should be good, but I'm gonna quickly just check on this little tutorial to see what things we're gonna start with. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna start taking all of the items in here, and I do need to remember that I have a zombie in this one. So we're gonna have the zombie come down with us too. So I'm gonna just check out the things that I will need to bring down with me, and I'll come back with you in a moment. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go down 10 blocks. So this is one. Oops. One, two, three. We're going to dig down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we dig four forward. So we're at one, two, three, four. And then from here, we're going to dig out a room that is three high. So you've got to go one up. And then a five by five room. So we're going to go this way. So this is one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then we dig up one. And then this is going to be one, two, three, four five and then let's see we've got some fortune to pick up some coal there we go we need more oh, oh. how exciting <laughs> all right and then we'll just uh, fill this back in this is one two three four and five and then all we're doing is making this three high as well Are we like right by oh i was like i see light vaguely we're seeing some light so okay we're going to need to deal with this cave because we're gonna have all of the iron golems spawning in here so i'm gonna leave that open to remind me to fix fix my problem 
but then we can just clear this out too. This should be the platform where the golems will be spawning because the villagers stay below so that the golems will spawn above. So I'm pretty sure that's what this room will be for. And then I'm gonna cover this in. So this is the room for our iron golems. And then we're gonna use the ladders to get up and out of here. so and i actually think i'm gonna put the ladders on this side oh that actually won't work so i take it back i take it all back and we'll need to fill this in as well so we'll go like this and then we can get out just like that so we're gonna come back down here and I think I don't need to have a ladder there, but I'd prefer to have a ladder at the top just so it makes it a little easier to get up and out of it. I'm also gonna close these just in case something tries to get in here. I don't think anything else can. So we've got our little hallway. We've got our three tall and then our five by five room. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it went perfectly. So we've got a little square. Next, we're going to bring this three blocks down. One, two, three. Oh no, and we have another cave. Oh boy. Uh, so we have to fix that. We also need to get beds because we need to add three beds for the villagers. And I should have thought of that, but also the tutorial didn't mention grabbing beds. So uh, we gotta we gotta do something about that. But this cave, I don't think I've been in here yet which makes me a little nervous, but we're going down by three. So we're gonna do that with the entire thing. Like so. This is the, the first time I think I've made an iron farm in one of my long plays. So you guys will get to see the full process of making one. Um, and again, the iron farm tutorial that I'm following, I'm gonna put below. I feel like by now I should know how to just make them right away by myself, but I feel like sometimes it's just nice to make sure I'm doing it correctly and like double check things. So that's more so why I just like loosely follow one. I feel like at a certain point, I'm just gonna know how I like to make them for myself. And then I won't need to just keep watching tutorials, but I feel like I always just like forget certain things like Me literally forgetting to grab beds Like, <laughs> Come on red. What you doing? So one two three down and then we need to add the beds in here And we need to do something about the cave below us Which I'm not excited for but I think I'm just gonna jump down. We're just gonna do a jump Okay, it may be bad, but we're gonna do a little jump Owie. I like the echo though. Okay, oh goodness. We're gonna need to get a lot of slabs going in here. I love the cave sounds. That's literally one of my favorite. Ooh, hi. No, thank you, buddy. You can go away. You can go away. No, thank you. Not interested. Oop, and I'm using my good blocks. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Again. No. No, thank you. This is like creeper cave over here. Oh my gosh. Is there a... Are there creeper spawners? Where are you? Where'd you go? No. Not allowed. Literally... I was like kind of joking, but I don't think I can joke anymore. That's just creepers coming all over here from every which way. That's kind of nuts, actually. They've just been hanging out in their little cave spot over here. I'm like paranoid almost to like 
Please, Creeper, come across the bridge I just made so you can explode me. Alrighty, all the fun friends. You're gone. You're gone. See you later, dudes. Okay. I feel like the growly sounds also sound way more intense. Well, good news is, I don't think... Is this me? Oh, that was definitely me. But I don't think I'm gonna have issues with, uh... Hopefully, Iron Golem spawning this far back. That's at least the hope. And I'm gonna break this off so that, just in case, no one tries to come back over here. And I don't have any more axes, so let's just use the the diamond one. We just will be careful. And I do want to make sure nothing else is gonna... No, thank you. I don't like baby growls. Baby growls are my least favorite growls. I don't think I can get up there. Alright, we're just gonna have to deal with the, uh, the golem spawns at some point, but I'm not gonna... Not gonna fret too much right now, because we need to make sure that the farm works first. Priority numero uno, making sure the the farm will work for me. So we'll deal with that later. Okay, and I'm going to add torches in here while I'm building, just so we don't get any unwanted guests. Oh, it's it's dark. Let's just do a little seep in here. Let's just do a little nap. And then we'll go get wool for the beds. Okay. I've got my cup of coffee next to me. I know this might seem very strange to add into uh, my coffee, but I wanted to try it. I have a just regular cup of... Oh, look at all those burning zombies. We love to see it. But I have a cup of coffee next to me, and I decided to add some cream into it. And I've gone to coffee shops where you can, like get um, a maple latte where they add some like maple syrup for the sweetener so it's a more like natural sweetener than like getting a vanilla latte or caramel or something like that. Oh no, we only have four. We need to go look for more wool. Okay, good to know. Uh, we've got a little journey ahead of us, guys. Go find some sheepies. But um, I thought it was really interesting that you could make like a maple latte with maple syrup as, you know, your sweetener. So I added a little maple syrup into my coffee. And that probably sounds very uh, Canadian, even though I'm from the US. But it's actually really good because usually I'll add some raw sugar if I want to add some sweetener to my coffee. Just so it's not too, too much. But I, I really enjoy just trying a little bit of maple syrup added to it. So that's a, a new thing that I've recently tried. And it actually turned out pretty good. All right. I'm looking at my map and I know there's a sheep around here somewhere. Hi, buddies. Can I grab some of your wool? Is there two of you? Hello, duck. <gasps> yes, more. Okay. We have three, six... Oh, I need one more, because we need nine. Hey, little sheepies, you want to regrow your wool? Can you take a little munch on some grass for me? That would be great. Oh, yeah, you. I was like, I heard it. Thank you. Okay, perfect, 11. We got 11, we're good to go. I also want to kind of make the, the beds colored. But the roses are red. We could have some classic, you know, colors for the beds. There's also lilac, so we could have some uh, magenta beds. But I feel like, honestly, the red is the more iconic one. So we'll, we'll replant this guy. 
if it lets me pick it up well. It's interesting that these lilacs are all the same one tree, like plant type, but they have different colors that grow depending on like where I place it, which I like that you can have multiple variants. I just wish I could get these colors, like a light blue, a soft pink and a soft purple, like, ah, oh, it's just so pretty. But um, we're gonna do red beds because that's the most iconic classic Minecraft bed. And I don't fall in the ravine. I really like how there's these downed logs. This is one of my favorite features. It just makes the forest feel like it, there's more dynamic features, like wood types. It's great, big fan. I'm also gonna keep cutting this down because I like my paper lanterns and I'm not going to the nether quite yet to get quartz to make a little auto sugarcane farm. So we just continue to do it that way. I'm just leaving it in here. Oh, I had some in there, what do you know? Okay, well, I think, did I put the wood in this one? I, th I think I put some wood on top of the hill and which is fine because we have a crafting table there. But then once we get the beds, we set up the little spot. Did I put it in here or did I put it in here? I put it in there, perfect. We've got the beds. One, two, and three. And then one, two, three perfect and then we'll put that there we don't need these bricks to be there or the cobblestone or that cobblestone and these are kind of going to be just the the junk but i don't want to get rid of them spot okay so now we go down here i'm going to close this door again i just don't want anything coming in here we're also finding a torch over here I can grab sticks if I need them, but I don't want anything coming in here. Now, as far as the direction that the beds are gonna go, I wanna make sure I get this right. I don't think it super matters, but if we are gonna have the, uh, the zombie drop down over here, I'm pretty sure we'd put the beds in this spot. And then I gotta move my little staircase and put the other one right there. And then we're grabbing this, our two walls, our water, and getting our slabs ready. And then we put a full block here and we dig this down three. Oh, this, oh, I have to put water down here. Okay, this will be problematic. Interesting, okay. Um, um. <laughs> I think this will work. We're gonna find out. We're, we're gonna climb our way back up and out of here. <laughs> uh, there's definitely gonna be iron golems spawning down here. No doubt. We're gonna have to have some fun with some, uh, some slabs, some slabbies. But it'll be okay. This is the trial and error of farms. <laughs> And uh, now I can know this is the way that I get down. Okay, but this is one, two. Oh, I need it to be one more. Okay, so this is one, two, three. So one, two, three down. So then this would go here. This would go here. And then we need, we're gonna drop down because we need this like so. We need to make this be the space. So that's completely covered. So now, now we should be good to go. I'm also very paranoid something in this cave is just gonna come and get me because it's just, those creepers just kept creeping, you know? They just kept coming out of nowhere. I also think like I'm getting spooked just by an empty cave and then the people play those just like super intense uh, cave dweller type of ones. It's kind of crazy to me. But next, we put the water over this one, flowing that way. 
And then we close that up like so. And I think the zombie is going to like sit here. So then we're going to have to dig a little hole spot for them to enter this area here. Then we're going to place these here. I do need my slabs. Then the slabs go on this side and fill this in over here. Like so. And then we fill in the roof so that it's even with our ground here. And I'm going to bring this torch down just so that these guys have some light so they don't get spooked. And then for this one specifically, we'll keep this open because the zombies is going to go down there. Which, this seems like it's too far down. One, two, three. This is, oh, this is four down. Well, it was three. Like, we used a full block here, right? So this is one, two, three down. We'll see if I need to change this. I'm not so sure on this. Let's Let's just check. If I go like so. Oh no, that works. And then we'll name tag you Frankie. Frankie, welcome. But you're gonna be loud, so Frankie's gonna stay in here. Um, and he was on fire, so I whatever state your mob was in previously when you grabbed him, they will still be in that state, because Frankie was still on fire. So it's good to know about this mod that I added. But okay, he'll jump up high enough so that He'll be seen, and that's what I was concerned about. So that works out. So then we'll go like so. And I need to get out of here, so we'll just make our own little staircase up and out around the corner. Like that. And then we'll Put that there temporarily. Actually, what am I doing? I don't even need to do this. As long as the zombie's in there, we're fine. So then, if I just create a little staircase on the side here to let me in, I can crouch and I can put the zombie in and then I can put my three little villagers in. So that works out just dandy. Just wonderfully. I have a friend named Andrew and his uh his grandpa likes to call him dandy andy and he does not like the name dandy andy so i always think of that kind of like story or like thing whenever i think of the word dandy it's kind of funny the nicknames people get it is kind of funny okay so now the um, I think the next pieces, actually, I could have probably just stayed down here. Because the next things, once the roof's in place, is just probably getting the villagers there and getting the, uh, the zombie in place. So we'll probably go and grab the villagers, but I think what I can do next is just start working here. But I want to make sure I check my little tutorial. Yeah, now let's, uh, let's actually put Frankie in. Now... I am, I am a little nervous just of how many iron golems I'm going to have to kill trying to fix this with all of the caves. Owie. Frankie, you lit me on fire. That's not very nice of you. I know you're growling at me. Rude, Frankie. I thought I saved you. That's interesting that he caught fire again. Interesting. Well, you're named Frankie, so I don't need to worry about that. But now we're going to take all three of these and go grab our villagers. So that'll be good. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Growly. Mr. Growly boy. Okay. Let's go get some friends. And then... Once we get the villagers in place, they should start getting scared. But honestly, part of me did want to make them toolsmiths first. So I am kind of curious. Hi guys. Maybe we'll see about making some... Oh, getting a little rainy. That could have helped Frankie out. 
but let's see about making them some... I think it's Blast Furnace. And... Oh, I don't want thunder. We're gonna sleep. But once we get their job... Okay, let's see here. We need their job blocks. So we'll make ourselves a toolsmith and a weaponsmith. But I left some, some wood over here. Because ideally, I'd like them to uh, <laughs> take jobs before they get scared, just in case that messes with anything. You never know, but I'm not, I don't want to risk it. So if we do, I think, this. Is this how you make one of them? A smithing table, perfect. And then the other one I want to make is... We need the blast furnace, which I feel like that's just... Oh, interesting. Smooth stone. This is a lot more involved than I thought blast furnaces were. Man, oh man. But I actually think I have some blast furnace in here. Blast furnaces? I almost was saying blast furnace is almost what I was saying. Let's just see. Um, did I have any in here? No, but I can make some smooth stone, which works just fine. And then we'll grab that as well. These are little experience nuggets, because we'll have a toolsmith. And then I kind of like the idea of actually having a uh, two... If actually, hang on, I'm trying to just think. I only need one weaponsmith. I will need more toolsmiths, just in case I don't end up getting all the tools that I want from the one. So I think we'll have two little guys that will trade us... What is that supposed to be? Oh, interesting. Gives us some options. Okay, so we'll have two smithing tables so that we can get the toolsmith giving us different tools. And then we'll have this guy. And I think I need more iron for this. Right? Blast furnace. Yeah. Okay. And then we just make a furnace. And we have exactly eight, so that works great. And then, perfect. So then, I have emeralds, so we'll just see about locking them in. I don't know if we're actually gonna lock them in with just six emeralds, but maybe we can lock them in. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Pick up, for, we'll pick up all the villagers. I'm like thinking out loud here. We'll pick up all of our villagers, move them in place before we let Frankie out. We'll like pick Frankie back up. All right, where's the other one? Hello, hello. But we'll pick up, uh, we'll pick up Frankie once we get the villagers in place and then they won't be scared. And then I can uh, set up where I want the job blocks to be positioned without them trying to like run around and panic. So that's the, that's the play. We go up here, and come on up, there we go. And then down our little side staircase. And then we let you free and grab Frankie. And then I'll move Frankie up here so that they're not scared. Hello, Joseph. Don't want you to be scared, my dude. And then I feel like adding the job blocks here makes the most sense. So then let's do this. <gasps> nice. Oh, we can look at you. We can trade you some coal. How lovely. And I don't have enough, but we'll lock you in as the armorer. So we'll get a full set of armor from Joseph here. And then I can, I'm pretty sure, just to take this one block off. Because I don't want them to have issues being able to refresh them. So that's why I'm kind of thinking we, uh, we go like so. We put one there, and then, honestly, we could put one here. I feel like this should work. This might not work because the thing that I'm concerned about is the villagers not being able to grab and track to their job blocks, but they should be able to reach this one. They can reach this one, and so they all should be okay. So I'm gonna crouch over here. And then we'll have... Oh, 
Oops, I did not mean to free cam. We'll have one over here. Are you in the bed? Oh, you are. That's a little cursed. Okay. And then we'll have you be there. <gasps> Lovely. Okay, so we've got... Wait, we've got Jo... Oh, we've got... This says Joseph, but it's robbed. So we've got you, which is good. I'm trying to grab you. You're stuck in the bed, and I want to fix that. Can I grab you? Can I grab you from afar? I'm shifting. I want to help you. I want to be helpful. You want to just move out of the way? So I can grab your friend? All right, you move. <laughs> okay. So then... Place you down. Place you down. Okay. Can you see this? Do you see this, Ashley? Is this gonna work for you? No? Okay, I might have to rethink this. Might have to rethink. Okay. So, let's take... So let's grab you. Frankie's in there. We'll grab you. Grab you. And then... We'll put you back. I just hope it doesn't fall where Frankie is. That's my one concern, because these are big. Well, Frankie's not there yet, but you know what I mean. He will be there. So if I go like so, that should work just fine. Except I need to get myself out of here. Okay, so then we've got Ashley and Robbed, so I'll just shift, let you in. Shift, let you in. All right, so Joseph and Ashley are... Or Robbed and Ashley are toolsmiths, so we should be good. And then what I'm going to end up doing is make a two wide little tunnel back around here so that I can reach all of them with their little, little trades. And we're going to go one more around. And this is how I'm going to be able to trade with them and just get all their blocks increased. Like so. And I'll put that there. I'll probably make more slabs just so I don't have to deal with them uh, trying to like escape or if they end up just doing things where when they're sleeping they somehow get back here when they wake up. That's what I want to avoid. So I think if I use slabs there, I won't have that issue. So that's kind of what I'm thinking we try for. So maybe we go like that and just make some extra slabs because I'm easily going to be able to get back here. And this will also prevent the, uh, the iron golems from even trying to get back here as well. So if I just do this and then I can shift and then just make my way through. We're sneaking. Yeah, we've got Joseph. There we go. I'll probably actually take away this and then I'll just place the torches here and here. But now I can get all of them, which is great. And they can reach their thing, so it's perfect. I just need to level them up with their really little trades. But hopefully, I mean, this is trading me. They're trading me axes and pickaxes and they're doing shovels and hoes so hopefully that means that we're going to get totally different uh diamond tools from them and i already know that i'm going to end up getting what i need which is a full set of diamond armor from them so that'll just kind of help us with uh, getting some goodies some diamonds without feeling like i'm gonna just totally you know run out of run out of my diamonds i want to be able to have diamonds all right now the the big uh question will you be spooked scary and if i do f3b i can see sight lines and i don't want him to be focused on me so if i move out of the way the idea if i just do this is there a sight line working Okay, they're moving around like they are scared. So I think we got this. I think we're good. 
Now I just have to slab all of this up, which won't be as fun. Okay, now I just have to wait to see if we're actually going to get an iron golem spawning. I don't think they're going to spawn above ground, so at least there's that going for us. Yeah, above ground, we're good. We put them down low enough so that they'll hopefully just go underground. But I think the biggest thing is making sure that they get too scared to sleep. That's what's really going to kind of do it for all of this but i'm not gonna sleep but i am gonna use my stone cutter instead and i'm probably gonna bring the stone cutter over here just because i'm probably gonna need to use a lot of slabs just to prevent mob spawns so we'll bring you with us and let's make the the cobblestone brick slabs it just makes it more fun i like it and then we got all of our cobbles our stone I want the cobblestone, so we're going to come back up here. I'll put the smooth one away and we'll grab some cobble. And I've still got some wool, so I can put that away. The emeralds will also put away. And I think while we wait for the iron golems to spawn, I think we're gonna just keep working on making the farm. And I am gonna check these since I don't need them. So we've got all three of our little capture cages and I'm gonna close this and then did I grab oh no did I not pick it up I didn't pick it up I thought I grabbed it okay we go and grab the stone cutter you guys are like I think you missed it you said you were gonna grab it but then you just used it and didn't actually uh grab it hopefully this is enough <laughs> we'll see. I'm also going to grab more cobblestone just in case. Because I have a feeling this, the cave will cause us some probs. But, you know, it's it's okay. It will all be a-okay. We'll put these here for now. We'll move all of our sticks. I don't need my sword. We don't need the shears. We're going to start making the, uh, the pickup spot for all of the, uh, the golems pretty soon here. I just want to slab up uh, the places that we're going to need to slab. <gasps> Wait, how'd you get out? Oh no, okay, um... Ay ay ay, okay. You, come here. Hi, uh, don't mind me. Okay, so this was the issue. So if I do this, maybe they can't spawn? Okay, let's try this. Testing it out. I don't think they... Okay, so that fixed the issue. So that's good. And we have an iron golem in here, which is great news. How did you... Oh my gosh, Ashley, come here, come here, come here, come here. You know it's dark over there too, right? Goodness. Okay, I need to fix my staircase. <laughs> Ashley's like, we're making a run for it. <laughs> uh, where? Where did I get up here? Oh, there it is. I'm like, what the heck? Where did it go? This is just hilarious to me. Ashley's found a way to escape. And she's going for it, you know? Smart lady. I would not want to be in this state either. But uh, they have to be in this state. They must. Okay, that should solve my issue. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is make my staircase over this way. Oh, you lumber so scary. You just, just kind of makes me nervous. Okay, and then I'm removing all these slabs because we don't need these ones. Fill this in. We won't need that because this is just right here. 
and then we're going to come from behind here. Like so. And then I'm going to put these here. So nobody can escape and I have still like a little platform. We might actually be okay. I might not need these. This is only too high, so nothing else can spawn. And I can grab I can talk I can I can talk to them. The villagers don't talk red. Okay, so I think this is good. They're not gonna bother me. They're not gonna be able to get through. I think Ashley's escaping days. Oh, I need to put Ashley back. I had Ashley in here. Ashley's escaping days, I think, are up. The jig is up. Are you good? Are you staying, Ashley? Okay, I think they're gonna stay. I think we're golden. And we'll probably just get some carpet to prevent them from spawning. And I have a very strong inkling that um, we're going to have a bunch of dudes spawning up here. So we're just going to eliminate that. So we'll just place these down preemptively. Because even though they spawned in the exact spot that I want to, this just seems like way too close. And a spot that they definitely could spawn in. So we're just gonna remove the temptation for the, the golems to spawn. Because we don't want that. Okay, I think you'd spawn there. Interesting. It doesn't replace that. Okay. I think these are the only other spots that they could potentially. Like, everything else is pretty shallow, so nothing- they wouldn't be able to go anywhere else. Are you trying to escape here? Not allowed, sorry. I'm closing this up. Well, we should put one there, though. Oops. Because then, the slab will be right above it. Okay. Now, you, sirs, are going to be kind of uh, forever uh, stuck here and burning, and I apologize, but it is important that I can survive and continue making my little place. So next, uh, we need to dig out some space. Hi, guys. Hopper. And then the the chests would go here. Do I want them to? Oh no, come here. I want them to be the same chest. So, like that. And then nothing's in here now, but if I put cobblestone. Okay, they do go in there, so that is correct. And then if we go like so. Okay, I, th I think I'm doing this right. Maybe this is supposed to be moved once over. I think it should be one over. Oh, I don't have, I don't have silk touch yet. Actually, I think I had silk touch up here. We're gonna sleep now. And then I think I had a silk touch. So we're gonna add that onto a uh, pickaxe. Perfect. So we have fortune on this one and mending and a breaking. So honestly, this is almost a good work pick. Unbreaking, efficiency for, vein mining, like I'll probably leave that as our work pick. So maybe we have three more. We have four more diamonds. We have three enough to make another pick, but okay, we do have silk touch, perfect. So we're gonna make a new pickaxe. I didn't have any other ones here and I might've had some extra. Okay, no, it wasn't a pickaxe. So we're going to make a new pickaxe and that will be our good silk touch pickaxe. I'm checking if there's any of these I would add onto this. 
I don't need a vein mine for it. We could, though. I mean, vein mining on Silk Touch might be kind of nice. Maybe we just add that. We'll, we'll add it. Why not? And then we got these ones. Pickaxe. Lovely. I've got 13 levels, so we uh, definitely need to make them a little bit better. But we've got Silk Touch for four. We'll add vein mining. And then, let's see, I think I had a mending. Yeah, we have a mending, a silk touch, sharpness for an axe, and then loyalty for a trident. Silk touch. Oh, I have three levels and we need ten, so we'll, we'll wait on the mending. I really just wanted silk touch, and I need my big axe back. I do kind of like how it leaves them on the table. If you're working on it, like, I think that's kind of a fun feature, but then if I ever forget where my tools are... <laughs> uh, it's gonna be kind of funny. I wonder if I can vein mine up the, uh, the glass. Or if that's just gonna be for, like, ores, you know? Because it would be kind of cool if you could just use vein miner on anything, right? That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, and I'm gonna just check to see if I grab this and put it into the middle. Grab those. Okay. I'm glad that I'm checking my little tutorial because I'm definitely doing this wrong at this point. So this is basically, this gets dug out an entire row all the way on both sides. So we pick this up and we pick this up and pick this up. Oh no. No! Oh my Lanta, you guys. Ah, uh, villagers, villagers. Imagine if I didn't have these little things. Do you know how chaotic this would be? It's already chaotic, just them running everywhere, and like, I wouldn't even have my special things like what I have right now, you know? It's just kind of funny. Place you back. Place you back. There. Okay. We're, we're getting it. We're getting it slowly but surely. And now they can't go up. So this stays there for now. And then, so uh, this got dug a whole thing back. And then it says that we should grab our water buckets now. And then that's just going to help us see where this meets up. But usually it's going to meet up right in the middle. So we've got two here and two here. So it would meet up right here. And then we would be adding in the, uh, we would dig this back three, like so. And then we'd add in the chests and everything. So we'll take our hopper and our chests because the hopper would go right here. The chests would go on this side like so and the hopper would be here but let's go grab our water we'll grab the, the aqua and then we'll add in our two buckets put one there it goes all the way yep okay and then we grab one more See, I didn't need to grab three buckets of water. I just needed the one. And a little bit of patience. Ooh, this is dark. I don't want things spawning. And then this should push them into the middle more so. And uh, this will be like filled like so. So there won't be an issue with that. But then with the glass, we can have the glass kind of be right here and it's not gonna cause issues. And then I wonder if I can place this down and it stops it. Oh, look at that, it does. I didn't know that. So then things will start coming into here and collecting. And now the only thing we have left to do is to add in the, uh... oh, I'm gonna close this up really quickly. I don't want them having issues. Sorry guys. So I'm going to quickly go like so, so I have one less water bucket to deal with. And I'm going to close this in, just because I need to place signs. And what I would say, I've made these before, 
Um, having just the ability to uh, not have the water in your way when you crouch to place all your signs, it will help a lot. So go like so, and one more. So this layer is a little bit further down. This next one is above. Like so. You pushing me. Don't mind me. Um, you wanna just move on over that way? Yep, thank you. And the last sign. And then the last thing we need to do is add our lava bucket. Excuse me. Excuse me. And you always will place it right here above this one and I'm gonna close in this wall now we just wanted to see where the water would go to so I'm closing in this wall and I'm gonna close in this wall as well so like so and then we can have the glass be here as well so that's just a solid wall and it looks really nice I also just realized I did this wrong again. Um, silk touch. The issue that I'm having is uh, this is where the hopper should be. Because you want the hopper to be underneath where the signs are because the lava is gonna be placed here and then drop the iron in here. So we need to fix the, uh, the hopper issue once again. So we'll just pick things up. And then what's interesting is if this works, Yes, okay, I can just pick up this one. And then this one. Oh, okay, gotta pick that up. So I guess we'll just do this again. And then come all the way back up. Up my staircase. This doesn't need to be as far back as I made it originally. But we do need our hopper and we do need our chests. So that, that, and then the hopper is right here, like so, and then your glass, okay, I don't want to punch you on accident, <laughs> your glass goes here and then it opens, okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it right, and then the lava, right there, and then we'll just add in our water buckets, so then the water is going to help with the collection. So it pushes everything there. And then this water goes here and also pushes. Crouch, just so you don't hit the lava by accident. And then I'm trying to slowly mo move forward without jumping or doing anything and then getting myself around this corner. And then we can just fill this in like so. And then we've got our iron farm working. Look at that! Yay! Uh, it's working! And then what we can even do is we could add in more of our glass so that we can kind of just see what's happening. And then I can come through the glass and we can kind of just be in here. But that's our, our iron farm all done. The, the issue I'm concerned about is the, the other caves. So we'll just see how this works. But let's, uh, let's move all of the iron and poppies we did have a little bit further down. And then we'll see if uh, we keep getting spawns. I'm a little concerned just because we did have some issues with the caves. That we're gonna just find some iron golems elsewhere. And none of them are spawning right now, so that's also kind of concerning to me. So uh, I'm gonna come up here and sleep and then we'll just, we'll just see, you know? Oh, I need to close these. I need to put a roof on this place so I'm not just getting wet while I'm inside the, uh, the house that I'm building. But that's the, uh, that's our iron farm, which is exciting to have that done. I don't hear any anymore, so I am kind of concerned that we just have them spawning elsewhere. Um, I don't see there's none up here. So at least the the depth that we dug down to is good Now we just need to you know fix the other things But I think that's good. You know like we 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 got a lot of it done or We can just let it run while we do everything else to collect resources Now I don't have a lot of calcite. I need a lot of granite 
because I want to mix some of this in a little bit more, but the main block palette we're going to need to go searching for is going to be, so we need some more spruce, just a little bit more, I think, because we're using that for decorations. We're gonna need mostly calcite and diorite though. So I think what we're gonna do, we also need the sakura, but I think what we're gonna do is go looking for calcite. And I do know that we have one of the, oh, I had bread in my inventory too. We're gonna go into one of the, the zombie crypts because there's a certain section of it that has a ton of calcite. And while I could just kind of uh, piece, pick up, pick up little pieces, like piece my way around our area, picking some of it up. Oh look, there's a little fox on the hill, how cute. They've got something in their mouth too, lovely. Uh, it's just gonna be easier if I can go find a geode. So I think we're gonna do that. But I'm genuinely concerned that they're, they're just there's golems spawning somewhere where they're not supposed to be. Oh yeah, there definitely is. Guaranteed. Um, let's let's move some of these down right now. Where was that cave? I know we were close to that cave, right? Okay, I'm gonna free cam down here a little bit just so I can kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, there has to be a golem down here. There's no way. This is just too perfect for you guys not to spawn. And now that means I have to kill this guy. Like, ugh. It's so scary. Don't want any of that. Alright, but let's... Let's get this place slabbed first. I just want the farm to work. Like, if we can just start the iron farm working as we're building up, I'll be, I'll be happy. That's all I want. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Just gotta scooch you over again. Gotta scooch you back. Thank you. Bruh, are you wanting me to hit you? Cause you're kind of acting like it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and then things could spawn here. I feel like if we're far enough down like this way, it's going to be too far away for them to spawn. So we should be okay. But I'd rather over spawn proof this than under spawn proof this you know okay and then the other thing i want to do is uh just make it so they can't come and get me i'm just gonna use my arrow i don't want to get too close I have diamond, but I don't want it to be broken. All right. Did that fix it? Huh? Did that fix? Did I get the problem figured out? Did I? Quiet now. Does, is that a good sign? I can't tell. I, I don't hear any... Uh, I don't hear iron golems, like, getting hurt, you know? Can they... They can't go further down, surely. Is there anyone over here? No, I think I fixed the spawn problem. Go iron golem hurts? Okay, they're breaking and hurting and dying. Okay. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> but I think I fixed it. I think we're good now. I think we can call it good. I made way more uh, slabs than I needed to, but there's probably gonna be other situations where I need to spawn proof things. I'm also gonna keep this uh, this color with the cobblestone just so I know this is how I can get down if I need to fix that again. So now if we check this, there we go, look at that. Okay. Nice. Yay! Okay, we're working. We're we're in business. We got it going. I'm happy. Okay, now I can feel good about going to collect other resources, knowing that I won't be. I'll actually have supplies being uh, collected. I also want to change out the uh, the floors that are in that area and some of the walls. So we'll just do a quick little. I also should probably just start collecting resources, but sometimes you just want to do the decorating like right in the spot, you know. Just making it look so much better.
Like, look, this already looks so much nicer. Gotta love a little... A little change up. We'll go like that. See, I don't like how the dirt is the block that kind of like crawls up the sides of different blocks. It just doesn't look as nice, right? Okay. Peace you, you. I'll actually probably just replace these first before I worry about replacing those ones. But there, even that just looks a little bit more decorative. Oops. I like it. Okay, look at that. We've got an iron farm working. I'm so happy. Okay, calcite is the mission, and next we need Sakura. Those are the two supplies we need the most of. So that is the goal, the mission, and what we're going to work on. I will bring just a stack of cobblestone just in case we need it, and we'll bring our sticks and torch stuff just in case. But next, we're gonna go and go over to see if we can find in the zombie crypt all of the calcite. I feel like that's gonna be the best and fastest way for us to get the calcite. And I can leave this here. I just need to remember where it was in the crypt, but we shall find it. And I don't wanna look too long. It's just gonna be a short... <laughs> These are, you know, commentary long plays where we build things, but we also adventure in better Minecraft. So we're going to the Crypt Village. All right, here we are. And then we're gonna go down here, cause that's where it is. Down, yes, okay, I see it over there. That is where we're headed, right there. Ouch. And do I have an extra shovel? I do. So we've got a shovel, we've got the pickaxe, we've got our sword, we've got a piece of steak, so we've got our, uh, our, our bread on hand and ready. Do I have a boat? I do have a boat. I like this maple textured boats. I think they look really pretty. Just because it's like a very soft pink. It's not like too crazy, you know? It's not like the, the bright pink that we get from cherry. It's a very soft, pretty pink, and I really like it. I don't build with a lot of pink, but that's one of the things I think is really pretty. So we've got our boat. Now, if I work my way down here, I've already done a ton of lighting this up. We've already cleared out a bunch of like resources and things. I'll take a pot though, I might as well. But what I'm looking for, there's tons of zombie spawners, but if I go onto my map, this is the geode. So this is where I want to go. Oh, wow. Well, it presses the whole chunk. So we're just going to work our way towards the geode. So a lot of this is just going to be me kind of uh, remembering which way I've gone and making our way over to the geode. It looks, oh, there's two of them kind of. It looks like the geode is on this layer. So as long as I can just kind of slowly make my way over, we should be good. Some of this is literally just like a maze. Just because uh, <laughs> they, they know how to, you know, make it interesting. Okay, so if I just keep going over here, I think I should make my way over. There shouldn't be any zombies in here anymore, so I feel like I could just walk around again and be okay. Okay. So we're just gonna walk around. You guys kind of get to see a little bit of what these crypts were about. Some of them had like chests and some of them had spawners. Like there's a, these are skeletons with swords and these ones were zombies. So there's definitely lots of them. Oh, wait, here we go. <gasps> Yay, we found the geode. Okay, that was, that was great. That happened a lot quicker than I thought. Then the trick is just making our way out of here. <laughs> That's the other thing. But look how cool this is. There's like a whole little like, I love it. There's like a whole geode in here. It's so pretty. And now I just need to get to the calcite. The goods. The goods for the trip.
and what's also fun is there's a uh, some custom oh hello some custom little villagers that have new trade blocks and there's like an occultist there's a alchemist i believe and you can trade certain blocks of like amethyst clusters or the shards individually with those ones and then you can get little emeralds you can get other things traded and if we level them up i realized guys i don't even need to go into the nether to get blaze powder i can't remember which one it is but one of them will trade us blaze powder and the mushrooms so literally i never need to go into the nether if i don't want to because i can just get blaze powder from them as long as i have emeralds which literally i mean to me that's incredible right like sometimes just the nether is scary and then this is modded minecraft so it's even more scary <laughs> so i was i was very excited when i saw that that was a thing uh, as long as we can find those villagers make their little job blocks have access to emeralds you know that's really all you need so it's kind of cool Any more? Here's some calcite. What's nice is if I can collect all of this calcite up. Oh, hello. We're just falling. But if I can collect all the calcite up, like then we're gonna be able to have just extra on hand, and that'll just make it so much easier to just have projects that we build with calcite. Just already have all the calcite that we need, which is huge. Like that's so helpful. So I'm very excited about that. And also, I do want to open up these buds so that they can grow. And not uh, have all the blocks around them preventing the little, little pretty amethyst clusters from growing. But I am very excited that we can get like whole stacks of calcite from this little guy. I also get super paranoid that I'm going to accidentally uh, break one of the blossom ones. I am a little paranoid about that. It's usually the one thing I get nervous about. I don't think there's anything down here, but we'll make some extra torches just in case. But once we've gotten our calcite collected up, we'll start building. And I'm excited to show you guys the, the roof, the little build. It's gonna be a little cute build, nothing too big. I feel like if I'm choosing to build something in Minecraft, I usually like to keep them like small, more detailed builds. And I think this one will be fun. It'll be almost challenging to figure out how to decorate it because it's a very small space. But at the same time, like I much prefer doing the small builds where you can get detailed or just have them be small and cozy i feel like for me i struggle with building larger builds because i honestly haven't done a lot of larger builds to begin with and i just enjoy adding more detail and for me i feel like having a smaller build makes adding detail a lot more manageable and enjoyable so i think that's the other reason that i'm not super big into building large bases but at the same point i think maybe at some point it would be fun to kind of like try that style i think for me i get overwhelmed um because it's just so much to collect for <laughs> which like if you're on an smp i feel like that's different uh because i've been on smps where people like they have shops and you can get all the building blocks you'll ever need for your projects and that's super helpful but if I'm in survival, like, building big, I, I don't like always taking the time to collect all the resources I need for it. And then it's hard because it's like, I, I make these videos as a way to financially support myself. And if I spend my valuable time on a giant build, spending all these hours collecting everything and recording it and planning out what I'm gonna do and editing and like all the stuff but then it ends up not really doing that well and performing that well and just the the views aren't there you know then it's like oh man shoot like should I do more of these big builds and I feel like it's also kind of a safer bet doing a smaller builds at least for me 
because I enjoy it. I like making the details. I can make them cozy, but it's not going to be something where like I spent so many hours and then just did not get the, the ROI that I needed or was hoping for after all the hours that I spent. That's my biggest thing with large builds or even videos that take me a large amount of hours because some of the projects that I've done, I didn't get a lot of views for at least what I was hoping that I would get for the amount of hours I put into it. So I think that's just the balance of why I also like smaller build styles. I think I love seeing people create large builds like the Hermitcraft and Empires series. Like people build beautiful builds, Hermitcraft they build mega builds and they're beautiful. I just get paranoid myself with just knowing if it's gonna pay off or just not liking all the the grindy work of collecting on that scale but i think that's also why smps work well for larger builds because it's not just on you but i also feel like if people are watching my videos to get inspired it's a lot more manageable to see someone doing a smaller build that can be cozy and detailed and quaint versus like a mega build. But some people love building in mega build styles, so they're genuinely like looking for like, I need inspiration for building large and some creators like that's their jam and huge inspiration on the, the mega build kind of larger build style levels which I think are always really cool. But I do love how there's literally like something for everybody with Minecraft, it's great. Oh, a dead bush, where did we even get a dead bush? <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> we just collected it. I am also trying to uh, free up these clusters, if you're, if you're noticing just what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I'm trying to just make some space so that they can grow. Because then, if we want to trade and get those fun blocks from the alchemist and occultist, we can get some good blocks from the villagers. We can get pretty amethyst, traded for emeralds. I'm so excited that we're getting all of this calcite. So excited. So, so wonderful. The only issue is once I actually just, you know, collect all of the uh, the calcite, <laughs> then uh, we'll, we'll need to find a new geode. Which, you know, that's fine. <laughs> I did see one nearby here, so that'll be okay. I wish there was a way to craft calcite because I know you can craft certain blocks with like cobblestone and granite or just like some regular stone variants. You can craft diorite, I think. It's something like that where you can like craft one of the basic stone blocks. Diorite. Oh, okay. So quartz with cobblestone, you can get diorite. Or like, what about granite? Does granite give me anything? Diorite and quartz gives granite. That one doesn't check out as much because granite is a red tone and these are like a light white tone. So like, what? How does that, how do you take two light blocks and make a red toned warm block? Like, what? Diorite and quartz are on the cool tone color spectrum versus <laughs> granite's on the warmer tone. <laughs> Uh, I won't quest- I, well, I'm questioning it, but I won't question it further, I can say. We'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> Just Minecraft things, you're like, oh, okay, I don't understand why that equals this, but sure. <laughs> the funny, like, Minecraft math things, you know, like, that's what that is. Just funny, like, interesting, okay. I don't understand, but I will just roll with it anyways. We're actually gonna get a ton of calcite. I also love breaking calcite. I think if I'm picking up a block 
in Minecraft, calcite just sounds so nice when you break it. And it's pretty easy to break in mine, which is also nice. Actually, what am I doing? Um, what was it? N insert? Oh my gosh, I could have been using vein mine this whole time, guys. I'm silly. Oh my word, I'm so silly. I'm a silly goose. Oh, that I'm a silly, the silliest goose there ever goosed. This is literally going so fast. Oh my gosh. I could have done this forever ago. I'm so silly. I, I'm not used to having Vein Miner as an option. Look at that. Wow. We're getting so much. Literally incredible. Okay. I feel like I got it all. I don't see anymore. Picking up some of this just to move that out of my way. Picking up some of this to move it out of my way. Oh, there is still some. Okay. And then... There we go. Okay, I think we got it all now that I actually used the vein miner properly. There we go. Maybe there's some on the top, but for now, we'll call it good. Oh, here's a few. Perfect. Okay. <gasps> Yay, look at that. Love to see it. Now we gotta get out of here. Which, let's use some of these, and then we'll just tower up. Yay, okay. And then I want to remember where this is, so I'm gonna take down the quartz. Yeah, I think I got all of it. Oh, I take it back. Almost all. Maybe there's still some up here? No, because usually the basalt's on the outside, so I think I got it all. I will, however, add in some torches up here for the sake of mob spawns just coming out of nowhere on me don't want that ah i think i got it all now okay <gasps> no right there okay all right perfect now it's uh making our way out of the maze which is the not as fun part but i'm very happy we have so so much of our, uh, our calcite. Like, look how much we collected. That's huge. Like, literally so helpful. And I think with the smooth basalt, we'll be able to smooth basalt. Oh, I guess maybe we can't. Uh, I was gonna say, oh, look, no, there's some, there's some options. There's some pretty options. Look at that. Ooh, look at all these crafting tables. My goodness. Or those aren't crafting table furnaces excuse me but that is definitely enough that's so many just stacks Ooh, hey way out get us up the staircase actually here's what i'm gonna do i want us to be able to get back down to the geode right so we're gonna go like so See, I'm already getting myself lost, so I don't want that there. Did we come from this direction? Nope, we came from this way. Yes, over here. There. See, now we can easily find our way to the geode based on the staircase. There we go. And then if I just, if I can make my way up these broken stairs. Mm 
I think this was the way up from this side. So this is just us making it a lot easier to find our way down. There we go. So then all I have to do is kind of like follow my way down the, uh, the amethyst little road and we're good. So then this should be the big room and then the amethyst we're going to put two right here. And that'll kind of tell us that this is where our amethyst goes. Look at that. Easy, easy. I love the sound of this. Let's just take a moment to hear the echo. I love that. It's so pretty. Let's do some more. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. I love that. And then uh, this doesn't need to be here anymore since we're kind of getting this cleared out because it's safer down here since we've literally spawn-proofed everything. And uh, we can just... Oh, I was gonna say, we can just go home. We do have to go back to the village because I did change the, uh, the waystones. Because I figured I don't have too many waystones right now and this village is close enough. So we're just gonna go to the village and then go home. We've got calcite, so then we're good on calcite. We will need some diorite, but there's some hills around our area where we can grab some diorite. No problemo. And then let's see here. I'm curious, just for the sake of it, since this is all rendered in, if I'm able to see any stony peaks, you know? It looks like there's a village, though, and I've been here before. We have a waystone in this village, which is where I found the occultist. But there's some things over here. I've checked this out, but I didn't see this before. So there's lots of just fun things to explore in this uh, mod pack and map. So it's very fun. But let's go back to our house. I love how there's a beekeeper. I think it's so fun to have a beekeeper. Reuben the beekeeper gives us flowers. Gives us emeralds for flowers. And then I think I have... Oh, look at... It's like, I want to leave this village and never return. I want to leave. <laughs> that is kind of silly. But this is the uh, the alchemist. We have a Salvador. So we'll get red mushrooms, puffer fish. We can get magma cream even. So there's all sorts of things we can get from the uh, the alchemist, which I think is great. So I love, I love that for us. So my home... Can you imagine if uh, villagers could click <laughs> and uh, just teleport themselves places? Do you know how chaotic it would be? Because I have waystones in two villages. That would just be a lot. But it would be kind of funny at the same time, right? I don't need those. And then we'll clear our sugar cane. And then we're going to start making some Sakura stacks. It'll be great. So we'll start collecting our sakura wood. And then the saplings I can put in my offhand. Just like so. And then we'll go like that. Like so. It does help that I can just literally like replant right away. It helps a lot. Because then I don't need to feel bad about chopping down all of the trees, you know? It just helps. I do wish these would grow taller, though. But I'm also not complaining because this, like, one chop feature, huge, huge time saver. Literally love that feature so much. And it's like, even if you have like a bunch of Fletchers in your world, like having this feature is so helpful. Oh, I love the big petals falling, it's so pretty. It's literally just like so much easier. Wait, Ash? Why is there Ash? Why? Oh, wait. Oh gosh, it puffs. It foofs. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. that that's... What's the ash? What is it? Campfire ashes, right? 
uh, nothing more. <laughs> I feel like this modded world has so many random things you're like, ah, uh, should I be concerned? <laughs> Okay, and this, that's, this is actually the tallest one I've seen. The stack of the trees don't really get that tall, but this one's pretty tall. We have a stack in five. This is slow going. But it's okay, it's fine. We're, we're getting it collected either way. It's all working out. I'm gonna take a nap though, cause it is dark. And we'll take a sip of my coffee. Ah, okay. Another wonderful day in Madrid. I am curious, what are you guys up to as you're watching this specific long play? I know this is kind of like something you could put on in the background, but I feel like the adventures, you know, we can do in some modded Minecraft also make it fun to just watch. So I'm curious what you guys are up to and how you're enjoying this little video. If you're watching this video and you're focused on other things, you're getting projects done, studying, doing homework, or you're just watching this, you're at work and you've got this going in the background. I'm always just curious to know how you guys watch these long play videos and yeah, what do you what do you enjoy doing while you while you watch them? I know some people will use long plays to sleep to as well. Um, I feel like the, the ones that are with commentary, it's just nice to have while you're working, just kind of feeling like someone's just next to you, which I was talking about earlier, but it's just, it's just nice. I, I do a lot of times just have people that I'll watch stream in different things. There's a few, uh, co-working streams that I'll be a part of on Twitch. That's just lo-fi you can have commands to like add tasks to things and i find those super helpful because then it's like i'm getting projects done i kind of can just like see th me checking things off the list so i think that's always helpful but uh, this is a reminder if you are just working on stuff to uh take a break to stretch stand up get water get a snack I think we're at like almost two-ish, three hour mark, something like that. So it's definitely a good time to just make sure you're moving your body. I, I do take breaks as I record for these long plays to make sure I'm uh, not just sitting for almost four or five hours straight without moving and without looking away from the screen. <laughs> I do make sure I take breaks, so I am a... Uh, Keeping my, my health in mind, trying to keep my eyeballs feeling good because I, I need my eyeballs to be good while uh, I'm, I'm a creator, you know, gotta have that, gotta make sure the body's healthy. Okay, this should be enough sakura wood. It's mostly gonna be used for our roof trim, but oh, we literally, okay, two stacks and 38, not bad. I think we should be good. So now, the drum roll, the fun part. Also kind of a uh, little, little, little scary for me, but we're gonna... Oh, we need diorite. I was gonna grab some more diorite, but maybe... Two stacks should actually, though, be enough. We have three. We're good. We're good on diorite. We've got a ton of calcite in our backpack. Well, we can go grab a bit more granite, but I think everything else will be good. Spruce was gonna be used more for just like decoration. So I think I'm just gonna clear the extra blocks out of my inventory and then we'll start building. And what's nice is right now, this very second, there are iron being create. There is iron being created. The iron golems are turning into iron for the sake of us, which is very nice of them to contribute towards our cause of surviving. <laughs> in our world, so I do appreciate that. Very helpful, okay. And the rest of this basalt and amethyst, we'll just put in here, kind of all the geody stuff. And I do not need this much calcite, but we'll, uh, we'll put it in our regular inventory anyways. 
And then let's just, I think four should be good. Like three stacks and three and a half stacks should be fine. So I think this uh, this will be good because the calcites are roof palette as a reminder. So like it should be good. And I feel like I should be able to get the blocks of calcite that I want on the, the stone cutter. I hope. Okay, just the polished calcite, I think is what I was looking for. And just the calcite slabs and stairs. So that's what I wanted. I just want there to be an option where it's not like making bricks into it, all these different mossy things. I just wanted plain calcite slabs and stairs and that's what we have. So I can use this little uh, stone cutter just fine. But the thing we're gonna work on first is the roof trim. The roof trim is gonna be the thing that's gonna be the most complicated for me to figure out and do, so we're gonna work on that first. And then I can kind of just fill the rest in. But it is gonna kind of be like a curved shape, which will be kind of fun, so I'm excited. Nervous, but excited, I would say, because it's uh, gonna be a different roof build, but I do wanna get better at trying different styles. So we're going to, we're gonna do it. And I think we'll make more slabs. I'm trying to think of like ratios of how much I'll need of everything. We'll use a lot of full blocks, but I think with these we should be good. Okay, let's start working on this. Now we're gonna need to go, I think I want it to be 14 blocks up. 11 high no 11 high so from here we're gonna go out here because so it's gonna be 11 wide from the middle so we're just gonna make sure that we have this correct so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's 11 high and it's 14 wide. So we're just gonna try to get this even. So we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now this is out by one block. And then we are just checking. And this is out by one block. So that's at 12 and then 13 and then 14. So on each side, it should be out by two. So if we're trying to follow this, this is where we're at. So this is even with the outside and then two here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, perfect. So this is the height that everything's gonna be. And I, I have a little, uh, little picture of my little build next to me and I'm gonna use it to help build our little, our little guy here. So. First, I want the stairs in my offhand. I'm going to need a new axe. I do have an extra, so I'm just going to put this in my inventory for now. And then the, the fortune and the vein mining work pick. Ooh, the silk touch. Ooh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide the silk touch one. <laughs> Probably should have used my, my work pick um, for the other thing, so we're going to move that down. Okay. Me just not procrastinating at all. It's fine. Okay, so we want an upward stair like so. I should have... Yeah, we're gonna use our... No, we're gonna use this shovel. And then we want one slab or one full plank. And then we're doing another stair like so. And then we're doing two slabs. One and two like so and in my mind we're gonna most likely run the slabs all the way across there are going to be some just like trap doors used but for now we're just going to uh use this to get what we need so we do the upside down and there ends up being a slab on top of here oops not a full block a slab here and then on top of the the full block that goes here we put a little trap door and then here we put another stair like so two slabs like that and then these slabs 
don't have any trap doors on them, but these ones in the middle would have some, uh, some of the trap doors. So I think I'm just gonna make some really quickly just so we have some up here. Just cause we will use them. So mine as well, right? Okay, and then we'll pick this up. There we go. And we can get rid of that. And now we have a trap door there. We have a trapdoor. Where did I put that? Right underneath this. So this gets a slab. This gets a trapdoor. Then these are trapdoors. What's annoying about modded is all the trapdoors are in sync. So if ever I start working on the side of this with the trapdoors, it will also be a little bothersome. So it's, uh, it's interesting for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna start moving our way down here, but I need to have some space to start placing the blocks. We're gonna come down here a little bit and I will be just like looking at my, uh, my second monitor just to kind of help me in this process to make sure I'm doing this correctly. But I think on this one, so this block, well, I'm gonna need to take a little nap up here, aren't I? I just gotta make sure I can zoom in and see everything. Okay, so we've got this full block at the top and then one full block and we put a stair here and then a stair here. And then I will probably need to drop down even further. So let's go like this. And we'll go down. Like so. And then step it back. Now where this should end is it should end right at the top of this. So it is going to be a pretty low roof, but it should end right at the top of here. That's kind of the idea that I have of how this is going to work. So now we've got two of the stairs and then I think, let's see, we'll, we'll do a, a slab because it makes it look like it's a full block. Actually, no, it's a, uh, it's a stair turned this way. And then I do need to go up a little bit more. And then we're doing a stair, we're like right side up, oops, not back there, like this, kind of like upside down right there. And then we put another, another little stair underneath it. So then if I come like this, this stair goes right here. And then this is where the roof starts to actually curve in. So it's it's definitely a different roof style, but I still think it looks like pretty iconic to what the uh, a fantasy style roof would be. So I'll pick up all these guys. And I don't need this anymore. I don't need all the extra water. So I'm gonna cover that up. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here and just tower up so I can start working on this. And then, since we have this one, we've placed this guy. I'm literally just like following my map, my little uh, picture of what I was building. No, wrong way. Let's get a little closer, try again. We want him to go that way. Like that. And then this one is going to have this stair has a slab there. And then this has a stair here. And then this ends up having kind of like two stairs side by side, but it helps to have something right here because it needs to go sideways. So if I put something like this, I need it to go sideways like that. That is the, the goal for this one turn it in like that 
And then underneath, we're going to be putting right next to this, we've got a trap door. And then I think this is all the top that I need. Now we go a little bit further under to finish it off. So, so far, let's take a look back. So it starts straight and then starts to slowly curve itself in. And then underneath this, let's grab these. Underneath this, we have an upside down stair. And then these end up going right side. Let me do one, two, three four and then the fourth one these edge ones is where the trap door goes above so then we put a trap door there and then we do this same kind of stacked slowly kind of design all the way but if we turn back this is what the uh, the shape of it is and we're just gonna kind of cut it off right there so that's the the shape of it the sideways profile is going to be we're going to put a little bit of Sakura wood across it, kind of like how we did across there. But then the roof is kind of steep, but because of the block placement of the roof calcite filler, it is going to look a little bit too narrow to have a second layer, like I was saying. But that's kind of just what the, what the roof shape is. And now we're just going to repeat it on all four sides here. And... Yeah, I think this is a fun shape. It's something new for me, so I, I always think it's fun to like try the new things, even if I'm not gonna be the best at making them. I always say, you know, try it out and see what you think. It's never a bad thing. And then I need it to face that block the way I want it to. There we go. I'm gonna make it like so of all those and then jump okay so then we've got this here now i will actually need to have a block here because we get an upside down stair on this side again and then we go up another stair and then we have another upside down one which i place that correctly so that's good. And then on top of this, we have another stair. And then we do another stair. Oh, hi. See, this is also the thing. It's like, how, do, how did I make this crooked? <laughs> this is the other thing. I'm like following this tutorial, but also trying to make sure I'm, I'm not messing it up. And I'm already like, I've already got this off a little bit. So let me just see what I got going on here. The roof edges look correct. This block section evenly lines up with this block section. It's just this last bit right here that I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> Cause like this, if I step down, if I go back, this lines up like so, right? So like, <laughs> where did I go wrong with the roof itself? That's the question of the day. Red. I feel like my uh, my name being Red works so well because there's like these funny like, we can do redstone with red when I'm not really that good at redstone, but we, we try anyways. But then we also have roofs with red where I'm not very good at roofs, but we try new ones anyways. It, it, it works out, you know, just all the fun with the, the roofs and the redstone. The things that I'm not good at, but we try new things so that we can get better. Yeah. I also feel like whenever I'm like trying these new roof styles, it does kind of help me get the feel for like, okay, if I place blocks like this, it can look really good. Like, I wouldn't think to put blocks like this, which is why I'm kind of, like, following, like, a roof trim tutorial, because that's what I need the help with. 
because once I have the trim in place on a cool roof, then it's just you fill it in with some pretty colors that you like. But uh, the edging here. So where, where was I doing this wrong? So then this gets a third. So this gets one, there's a second one. So we'd go like so, like that. So you have a solid block and then two. And then that one is an upside down stair. So this one goes out like so. Like that. Like so. All right, did I just fix it? I might have just fixed it and like completed it where I needed to. So let's take a look. Oh, besides the inside pieces, like this needed one. Ooh, nope, this is, this is incorrect as well. Mm-hmm, what am I doing? Interesting. Me just trying to figure out what I was doing. So this one all the way across is correct. Then this is a sl slab and stair. So the, uh, the stair matches up with this inside one and then we do a slab. So this becomes a slab and stair. I think I'm doing this side wrong, and I don't know how. Oh yeah, I pushed this. Okay. Uh, uh too funny. Okay, I I I got it. We we fixed my my kind of little mix up. Everything is good. It is fine. We got it. There we go. Okay. Now it should be even. Yes, I think this is correct. And I'm going to sleep before anything else. Because I don't want any guys coming after me. Okay. Okay, we've got this. You, you, you did it, Red. Just a little block misclick. It's fine. Everything is fine. And then that's a slab. And a slab. So I think I have it. I think we've got it. And then we do need to put the, like side ones in there. Cause like these two need to be added. But that's the that's gonna be the roof shape. And it's just it's different. It's not as just like triangular as like this one is and it's not as like the same kind of triangular dome that we have here or here but i think it's just adding a different vibe of the same kind of like fantasy style that i want to practice building in more for this series so i'm i'm happy with it now we just repeat on the other sides and i made sure that i put the little side bits in here so i think this one needed it so this one right here and this one right here so that one right there has it this one one back so right here I think that's the one I was just missing yeah I think we got it and now to repeat I feel like even though it should be pretty simple to just repeat, it does sometimes feel kind of like, well, let's see how this goes. But it shouldn't be too hard. I also really love that even though this isn't a bamboo forest, we still get lots of bamboo because it's kind of that uh, Sakura forest, which is like cherry blossoms and it just fits. The bamboo and the cherry blossoms just go so well together. I also like how the grass is kind of a vibrant green and we have the pinks that are vibrant and same with the uh, the bamboo. I also really like that we have these little leaves. Look at that, we can just stack them up. 
Is there three stages? Yeah, so there's four stages after the, the little placing of the little patch. And then we just pick it all up. So nice. So pretty. Okay. Now to the back side. This just looks strange to have that there. All right, so now let's go all the way up to the top. Okay, too far up to the top. <laughs> we need to go less up to the top. And then we're gonna do this. And there's two stairs right away. So we have one and then two. And then this has an opposite underneath it stair. See, I already need to like drop this down lower and not be so high up. We'll do one more, like so. Perfect. And then this is coming in like so. And then we come in one more, like so. And then we add a slab. And then we do add an upside down stair here too, but I think we can go just down here and do that. And I think we're at the point where I can easily just like do everything else from the bottom here. It is gonna look a little bit different on this backside here because we do have a whole another level of uh, just height, which is nice for me. Cause then from here, I'm just able to kind of work on the back side of this and not have to tower up as much which is always convenient but then this goes here this one needs to get turned in so i'm kind of just gonna do a little bit of that and then we pick this guy up and angle and then we've got that so then after this one there's the trap door and then under the trap door we have all of the the little stairs so then next to the trap door we've got this one like that and then we're gonna have four of them once again so we have one two three and four and then the same kind of just upside down stair will go here but then on the fourth one we place the trap door And then this one goes upside down like so. And then just making sure we've got this looking correctly how we want it to be. Now, if I come on the inside, this kind of helps me be able to tell if I have everything evenly placed. And it looks like everything is exactly where I need it to be. And on this outside, we'll probably add some stairs that are upside down on these ones just to fill in the sides. But for now, we're just trying to get the shape how we need it to be. And so far, I think we've got it. So now we just, on top of this one, put that one angled stair. But we got this first, and then we go like that. So there's those two. And then above this one, it's the, the slab and the stair. So this is a slab and this is a stair. So like so, and like so. And then I can just get rid of these. And then this is where we'll put an upside down stair. Right there. And I think I can still hop up from here. Oop. Oh, so close. I started shifting a little. Oh, wait, can I not get up there? Hello? Okay, I can. I was just struggling. <laughs> okay, and then we put a stair here. And then an upside down stair. Like so. And then a stair. And there should be a stair right here as well. Ah, see, I did this side totally fine. Look at that. We've got it. And I'm also going to just take this tree down. And I'll 
plant it somewhere else, but I, I want to be able to see a little bit more. We'll plant some over here. Like here. But now we can actually kind of like see the roof a little bit better. So there we go, both sides. Ba -ba -da -da. Here we go, and now the roof is done. I feel like even though I always think it's gonna take me way longer on the roofs, I, I can figure it out like fairly quick. It doesn't take me an eternity. Like I sometimes feel like it does. I feel like I'm starting to figure it out, you know, which feels good. Okay, so we can do a bunch of variants of diorite. And the ones that I'm looking for are the lighter toned ones. These ones kind of add some darker shades and I wanna keep the lighter ones to match with our calcite. So I'm kind of just checking to see if there's any, but the polished diorite I think will be a good option. So let's just lay this out, right? So we're gonna have calcite. We've got some of this polished diorite. Ooh, that actually works really good, wow. And then we can put the calcite itself in here and see if there's any that look interesting. Polished calcite, I'm curious how this is gonna look. Mm, it's almost lighter than our calcite itself. If I put this here, and then I move polished calcite over here. I mean, they all look good together. I think these two are still my favorite, the polished diorite. So we're definitely gonna make a lot more of just polished diorite. And then if we look at the rest of this, all of these are pretty much just darker tones. If I look up what calcite can be, I think what I'm missing is I need to make the chipped workbench. So uh, let's look at chipped. And if I do the at symbol, I actually find it. And the mason's table, one piece of clay, a oak beam, iron crafting table, and brick. I don't know if I have a clay ball, but I think I have everything else. So if I have a singular little clay ball, we can kind of make some other ones, but I'm just gonna focus on getting this roof up first. So this was polished calcite. So let's make some of the polished calcite. And then we'll have that. We can move these ones out of the way, but we'll have our polished calcite, we'll have our calcite, and then we'll have our polished diorite. So this will kind of be the, the style that we're going for with these. And then we're just gonna start in the middle at the top and fill it in. I'm also going to, in a, I'm gonna make a little like window design, but I want to get some of the roof in first. So we're just gonna do that. And with this polished diorite, I want this to be on the bottom more so. So that's one of the things, just because, oh, excuse you, B. Um, do you want this to be your house? Cause you're kind of just jumping in here like you would like it to be so, but that's fine. Ha, get it, like it to be so. Yeah, I'm so punny. I'm punny and I didn't even know it. I'm just kidding. I do love me some puns though, but uh, I know it's not for everybody. I'm gonna take another sip of my coffee. Okay. We're gonna just mix some of the calcite in now. And I think if I go like this, it should work. Some of these we're going to just uh, leave, just leave this as too high and then we're gonna add some of them kind of on the edges to kind of mix in there. Or no, we want calcite here. go. So then if I step back, see it kind of starts to get more boxed than I want it to be. So we might change these out once we actually get the, the Mason's table. So that's kind of the other thing that we, uh, we have to figure out. Decisions to be made as to how we want to do it. 
Ooh, yep. Take take away the doit. <laughs> Not what we want. Goodness gracious. There we go. Okay. Go and then I'm just adding all along here. Both of these kind of just give a lot more of a squared off look to it. Like this is obviously a lighter kind of square box, but then this is darker. But it does I'm not a big fan of that, so I think I want to mostly use a lot of calcite for the roof, and then we'll kind of fix that once we uh, figure out what we're thinking here. But then we have our roof done. I think it looks really good. I think it blends with our area really well because it's still the same shades with the Sakura, the spruce, and the calcite. But it does pop a little bit more, which I like. And if we look at our map, <laughs> we have half of the shape, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but I, I like it. So I'm happy with it so far. And then uh, once I'm done with the roof, that's when we're going to come back through and we're going to add in our little window. It does kind of like pop out a bit more here, so that's kind of also why I just wanted to have the roof in. Also, I'm curious. Let's do a little look-see. Just to see. Where is our iron at? Is it still working? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, another guy definitely spawned somewhere else. Okay, I want this to work while we're working on this. So we need to we need to take more of these slabs and uh, figure out what's, what's happening. So we've got these and we've got these. I'm glad I checked, goodness gracious. Oh, you're right there, you little sneaky man. No, I want it to be done with this. You know, sometimes having the, the vertical slabs isn't great because if I'm trying to place them a certain way, it won't place. I am noticing that. It's like, it's also just me getting used to it, honestly, because I'm not used to having it as an option. So I can't be, you know, beggars can't be choosers. If I, I really wanted to have the option to use vertical slabs, I need to be happy when it works and if it doesn't work that well. So that's, that's fine. It's all a good. Okay, and then I jump up here. And then... Now, here's the, the interesting thing, I think. I think they can't reach me. Now, I'm sorry, dude. So, so sorry. I think now this should work. We just, we just gotta check. I think this is enough slabs. <laughs> I hope so. I'm gonna put these back. <gasps> oh, that's right, you'll, you'll trade me iron. How exciting. You're not trading me iron yet, though. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're back. <laughs> now let's just hope we stay that way. That's also very loud. Okay. Wow, five off of one. Alright. Now we see if this works. So I'm moving those. Because we could have had iron just while we were making even the roof working, so that's why I'm glad I checked. Okay, that got a little weird there, laggy. Now we add our calcite to the other side. And I put calcite in here. So we'll do polished calcite, the regular calcite, polished diorite. And I can put these slabs back here. Now I still got extras, so that's good. And we've got our sticks, so we're good on everything else. And then we jump. And then the bottom, we want more of the, the darker blocks. A little bit of shadow, you know, helping out. Like so. 
And then... I'm trying to think... How did I do the other side here? So this is one up, two up, one up, two up, basically. This is one up, and then we go two up. And then one up, two up. That's like essentially what we're doing. Cool. Cool, cool. I can do that. side here. Let's try these, like so. Okay. And then this does seem pretty plain right now, so that's why I want to, like, add these bits to the, the front here and the sides. And then it won't look as plain because we're also going to add the little window guys. So I need to get my Sakura back. And uh, I'll need more of what I have. More of all of the things, most likely. But I don't hear any iron golems, so I'm just gonna do a quick check. Now I'm just like paranoid, <laughs> you know. Don't hear anything. Iron golem hurts, okay. Okay, oh yay, that's working. Okay, sweet. Look at that, oh, I'm so excited. That's so loud though, oh my gosh guys, so sorry about the loudness, so so loud. Okay, well, that means this is working, which is great. So now, I'm gonna need a lot more of our trap doors. Cause I'll need two, four, six, eight, and ten on each side. 26, I'll have some extras, it'll be wonderful. And then we're going to need some more stairs. Not a whole lot more, but a few more. And then it's mostly gonna be stairs and trap doors that we're making this out of, but I have some extra slabs if I need it and all of those. So I think we're gonna be good. So now we're gonna pillar up and this is kind of gonna be sticking out a little bit right in this middle here. And it's going to come out to this row right here where this one is. So that's going to kind of be the, the edge right here of the trap doors that are kind of going to be the edge of it. So that's the, the placement. I just heard my stomach growl. I'm, I'm going to eat some food <laughs> once I'm done working on this one. Get some um, munchies. Okay, now since we're going to have the trap doors come out to like here because it'll be one two one two three and four so if this is the middle right here one two three and four yeah so it would go here like so and then we do have this guy go there Oh, I thought I still had the, the stairs here. Did not. And then we put two right there. Go like so. Put these there, like so. And then we need to have two trapdoors kind of angled. So it's going to be... We'll put one right here. So I just want this one up. And then... Like so. And like so. See, then this... This is the thing. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We want those up, though. So I have to figure out a way to place all these trap doors and not have them connect and get annoying. <laughs> uh, so that'll be the fun part of it all. Let's 
So then we go here. And then this. Because then if I just go here with these. So that's kind of like the arch that it's going to take on. And then we put two uh, upside down stairs. And they go back one. So I think it should go like this. Yeah. Then we have this one. They go like so. And then we are going to do this and put these up top. Dude, just like that. And then they go pop and pop. It. Crisis was averted. <laughs> and then we can kind of just uh, fill this in. I think I'm going to fill it in with some calcite because it kind of gives off that this is still like a roof trim, right? So this is still roof trim. That was a lot more than I wanted. Okay. <laughs> so then we can just put that there. And then take a look back. I love how our, our trap doors are not, not staying put. <laughs> okay, and then if these just go like so, we should be good. And then we just fix the, the roof on the other side. Like so. There we go. And then this one was even, so we went like that. And then if I try to jump here. Oop. Let's just take a look, see? Grab the doit. And I liked adding these here. so so I wanted that to be there because then it kind of just boxes this in and I think it looks better so we've got our trap doors back jump we miss <laughs> nice okay now let's take a look back okay so now we have a window now there's literally like no space on the inside but it's more of like an aesthetic window okay we could get some some little lanterns in there make it look nice and cute and we're, we're gonna raise those. I'm just seeing this now. We will need to collect spruce because that is not staying. <laughs> not at all. But I, I think it looks nice. It's just a little window. Very cute. Nice little, little window. I could drop it down maybe one more block. Ooh, I think I, yeah, we're gonna drop it down once literally just one block I want these ones to be even with the top of this and like above the slab pretty much so like right here is kind of what I'm thinking these two right there yeah we're we're switching it just a wee bit we're changing it a little making it a little bit better I feel like it was almost like too high up, so it didn't look as good, too. So that goes there. We fix the windows. And that will drop down too. But this goes here. And then... That goes like so. That goes like so. Yeah, see these. Like that. Fix this side. And 
then I'm gonna wait on those just because I know it's gonna get messed up. <laughs> okay. And then put that there. Put that there. And then get rid of that. Oops. Wrong direction. Those go up, and then we can place these there because it's not gonna get interrupted. Ugh, like those did again. Nice. Love that. Love that so much. Okay. Now these should just be able to go like this. And actually, they don't even need. This doesn't need to be here because we're just gonna go like this. Beep. Bop. Just making all of our noises. And then, now that that's dropped, we'll just drop those top ones and we'll be good. Just need to hop up here. Actually. Ugh, okay, okay. Oh gosh, that was too quick. Oh gosh. And then uh, these go like so. And then these will also go back. So one block, just be careful of it. This goes like that, this goes like that. And then we have this. And this. Okay. Now, if I take a step back. Once we fix those. <laughs> once we fix those. But I like that a lot better. And then we'll just do the same thing on this side. But I'm going to fix the, uh, the calcite demolition that occurred. So then if I'm looking over here. That can go there. Yeah, okay. We we got this. Oops. Okay. Nice. And then I'm gonna do my thing where I add these here. Because I liked what that was. And right there. And then that's this side done. So now we go on to the other side. And I need to... Oh, we place you too. I'm glad I saw that. Oi. Ouch. Okay, fine. We'll just make a new one. Okay. Yeah. Now, I need to remember that we're placing this right next to the slab. So on the other side, next to the slab. Oops. Sometimes I accidentally press the, uh, the free cam button. Okay. All right, but that is how it looks. And I think it's gonna be super, super nice. I like it. I just realized that I didn't fix the inside of the window opening. Cause like that doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there either. But it also can be. So, you know, we'll just kind of see how this ends up looking. We could literally have just like the windows like straight like a straight shot straight through this, just being able to see everything. That could look kind of pretty. Ooh, I might like that actually. Let's just fill this in as though we can consider that. It'd be nice. Also, I think these will go there. Okay, other side. And the, the decoration for this isn't gonna be too intensive just because it is a pretty small build. But we're gonna decorate it with some things. I also don't hear any iron golems. So since I've uh, been right before in checking, I'm checking again. Oh, iron golem hurts. Okay, the I always check for these uh, subtitles in the corner. <gasps> Yay, it's working. That's so loud. Oh my gosh, I need to turn down mob sounds. Ooh, okay. So much quieter above ground, my goodness. But this is this is good, it's working. Now we just repeat on the other side. And jump up, collect all the calcite. And then this is where the slab is, so these will go right here. Then we get a stair right here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. 
The slab is here. So that goes there and there. The stair goes there. And then we need two pieces of dirt so we can kind of make this work. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. And then we can jump up here. Place the other one. And place the other one. And we'll fix those later on. <laughs> they always seem to cause me the problems. We'll, 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 it, it will fix. We will fix later. But we, we, we sleep for now. We get the snooze. Okay. Just a nice little nap. Alright, now I th think I didn't have to put these there. That's probably not where they're gonna stay. Like, at all. <laughs> Um, I think I had them there from before, so we'll just take these out preemptively. And, like, these go on the same side as this. So then, these are like that. And we carry them out like so. Other side carried out like so and then like this like that okay now we look we take a look see the trapdoors <laughs> it, it looks good <laughs> we just need to fix the trapdoors on the bottom and fix the ones and put them on the top and then it'll be fine totally fine okay there's that and that and then uh, we put these trapdoors right here. Okay, now that's figured out. Those are the right angles. These are incorrect. So we fix all of these. Straight up and down, flat. You're a flat one, and so are you guys. Hopefully this fixes it. Like so, and like so. Okay, ouch. Now, I don't know why, but the white next to the Sakura wood tone, I thought it was one of those pillagers. I'm like forever scared of them. <laughs> okay, cool. That looks good. Then we just um, add my little bits underneath. Oh, I need more trapdoors. Okay, that's okay. We can make more. I only need two. And then, like so. Okay. Mm, like that. I'm curious how this will look. Let's just go out here. I honestly think I'm gonna like having this just be solid and like you can see straight through it. We'll see if I want to change this roof at all and give ourselves a second layer. I don't think we're gonna have a ton of space for it in here, but it could be kind of cool. Yeah, see we can't take away some of them. Just a few. See, it doesn't always work. That's why I'm not sure if we're gonna have a second layer, just because it might not work out that well, but we'll see. We can always, you know, try things. And does this, this is good? Okay, we're good. Great. Amazing, okay, well. The, the roof itself, the house is done. I do like how you can just see straight through here. I think I would like the idea of keeping that, honestly. I think that adds just something special to it. So I think I'm gonna put the floor back in. I'm, I'm going back and forth on what I think about it, but I do think I like seeing through it. And we don't need to have a second level, like it's fine. But then what I wanna do is I wanna have uh, just some regular planks in here so that we can add some, some lanterns like in here. So for now, we can put like torches. But then you just have some light, you know, in here. 
but oh, I think that's so fun. Yeah, I like that. And if we get another copper golem friend, we could have our little copper golem friend like in there. It also looks like I'm just peeping over the edge. Just taking a look-see. Yeah, I like it though. This, we fix. <laughs> uh, we have to fix that. That's just a little, a little sad just seeing that look like that. Okay, so we need a spruce actual logs and we don't have any of those. So that's one thing we need to get. We don't need any more of the diorite. Well, actually, I do need the diorite, but we want mostly calcite. Where did it go? Okay, we've got some of that. Because I need to fix my walls on the interior. Oh, did an iron golem try to spawn right here? Kind of seems that way. Okay. Um still very loud but i want to try to figure out how to solve that issue i wonder what if i this might make it more difficult for me we'll, we'll see i put that there and then we climb and then we actually if i just do this then place these here I do this it's not tall enough Ooh, would that work maybe this would work because these are bottom slabs so nothing can spawn and this is still not even three blocks tall it's still two and a half i think this will work and it creates a very smooth transition for us <gasps> oh look at that it's working so well i'm so happy so so happy it's working so well i'm getting iron okay uh, all right. So now we just get to work on more of the decorative bits, which is the fun part. And we do need to fix these up. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I do need to collect enough emeralds so that I can start trading and get some better tools, you know, get some diamond tools from these guys. I'm curious if they're going to have just regular villager prices or if they'll actually give me some modded you know really nice prices um for really nice stuff i'm unsure of this but you never know and uh, what i need next is we need some spruce one two three four and we need some bone meal and i've got some dwight we're going to um make a floating platform for this because I don't want any of the pods will. So we're just going to do this. This should be high enough. Could be wrong, but I think we should be good. And then I come over to Oh, that's quite the shadow. This is out. Oh, I was glitching. That's why. Yay. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And then I literally just need one tree right now. Eventually we'll make a little spot for all of our our wood types to get chopped. I think like a, a designated like tree chopping area would be nice to have. So we'll probably do that at some point. I think I mean it would it would just help all around. Like <laughs> I've never kind of created like a, a very put together, like designated spot to kind of keep all of our trees for just not only decorating, but just like chopping all of the trees, like all of those goodness. I've never really done much with that. Okay. Now, apparently I would do this three tall. We'll see if I keep this. This was just to fill it in and make it look better. But we'll see if we keep this. I'm not sh positive on it. It will just look better to have these just like raised all the way up instead of just uh, choppy. And we go like so. I'll put these in my offhand actually. That'll probably go quicker. Much quicker, there we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay. So then looking 
from the sides. This already looks so much better just having these in place and with the beams going so much higher up, it also kind of creates some height to the build, which I think is super nice. Definitely helpful. And then right here is where we're going to start adding in some calcite. So that's gonna kind of be the side profile of it. So I'm gonna grab some blocks to kind of create some trim. I actually might make this go up one more. We might make this be four instead of three, I think. It's kind of what I'm thinking at least. We'll try. I don't have that many blocks, but it is okay. We will get more blocks. And then I'm gonna put my boat away in here since I keep that. And then uh, let's just move some of these out of the way for now. Because if I have that be taller, the one, let's do this. Then when we're looking at this from the outside, I mean, obviously we'll like blend this better, um, but I think it'll just look a little nicer when I add this in. Right now it just looks goofy because it's just all granite only at the top. So let's just do a little fix, let's do a little switcheroo. Kind of blend that in there. Thing fell down? Okay. Wow, I really don't have a ton of granite. Let's put uh, that here. We'll put a granite piece right there. So there's at least two by each other. It still looks kind of funky, but it's okay. We'll, we'll sleep on it. We'll find granite. It will be fine. also realized that this looks good with uh, these slabs going all the way across. I think that also looks really good. And then we're gonna kind of just create some little shelves over here if we want to put anything. And then we're gonna do some boxing in of this spot as well. I think that will look really good. And we'll add in some trapdoors as well. So if I do four, that should be enough, because we're going to do the same thing on this side. And go like so. So it'll be four, so it'll be up above like so. And like this. And across like so, and then we'll have the, the trapdoors, or the slabs, excuse me. Oh, not like that, nope. <laughs> I wish they would have colored in that one instead of it just not being a thing. That would have been lovely. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so now the sides should look the same. Yeah. And then we just add in the trapdoors. There we go. And then this will all be calcite. So we can actually uh, go add that in now. Except this calcite will start here. not be um, out here a little too much and then i did like the idea of having some stairs like so and then going like this and like flipping this over, going like so. Mm, actually, what was I thinking of doing? I had like a specific idea. If I went like so, then I could hang something from here. And then if I do some trapdoors, I just need two. Cause then that could go there, and then we'll hang stuff in here. 
And then if we take a step back. Yeah, I think that'll look good. It does look a little funky to have those there. So maybe we fix that. We will see. We shall see indeed. I'll, I'll probably fix that. I'm going to leave it for now. Just because I want to kind of feel this out a bit more to see if I think it's going to work well or not. But let's, uh, let's fill this in. Actually, this was the full block. Like that, and like that. And then... This goes there. And I think from here, we still can... Yeah, we still put that there and it works. So then we have this. And I think... I think I like keeping it this way. We'll see about what we're gonna do with these little white little spots that are poking through. But I like the roof, how it is. I think this is where we're gonna leave it. I'm also going to add some of these little brazers, but now we can work on some decorating. We do need to find more, more granite. <laughs> My, my constant just running out of granite, which I think maybe I left some in our mining outpost. Oh, I did! Look at that! Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Um, oh, let's see about the stone cutter. Do you want to add any? Any nice variants in here? Mmm, not really. I think we really do need to go and look at getting that mason's table made, and we'll put that in our tinkering room above our gazebo. But I think now we add some, uh, we add in the goods. We add in the granite. And just totally make this look a lot better. And go like here. Hmm, that should be... Like that. And like that. Corners don't really matter though because you won't see them necessarily. Then we're gonna add a floor in here as well. Okay, that's the the floor. Okay, that's where the uh, the walk above area is. So let me just grab some spruce because I like the spruce as the ceiling. And we'll add that in here. And then we'll put in some lights just above here in case we get anything trying to spawn. We won't have any of that on my watch. I like how you slowly can tell the echo starts to go away as you just add things into the builds. I think it's so nice. Put some right here. Alright, and then if I just remove my hot bar. Can see if there's any other spots. I need to break something up here. But everything else I like, so maybe we put one right there. 
And I feel like I really like just removing the hot bar so I can get a clear picture of if I need to add any more. I still feel like I might add something else here. Let's see about that. I don't need like it to be a ton. Yeah, I think that broke it up enough. And then the ceiling and the floors. We might add more of the, which ones are these? Brick bonded spruce planks. I might actually trade some of those out. So we'll just take some of these and go bring them over to that area. All right, let's bring these into our gazebo. All the way up. Hello, dude, I see you're slow moving. Let me just get y'all cleaned up there. There you go. All right, so they're called brick bonded. They're the reddish toned ones. I feel like I always go past them. There we go. We'll just turn them all into what we want it to be. Add those in. See you later, dude. It's <laughs> literally so cute. Ooh, yeah, I like having this here. I really like the, the placement. It's just great. And you can already tell, this is, like I was saying at the beginning, like this is gonna be a pretty small footprint of a build, but it's also just so cozy. Like I'm very excited for it. I think it's very fun. And then we can just add some path blocks and things since we're gonna kind of be coming from down more this direction. And then we are going to eventually just get some paths all connected up and do some work. Uh, making the little, little iron farm itself has taken me longer, so I will see if we get to it today. I might do it. A little bit later on because mainly I wanted to get this done now if I start typing in the Sakura I can find these drawers so slabs planks and a stick nice slabs planks and a stick I mean I have all the supplies so that's great so let's actually just grab these Can I grab more of them? So we can grab three. So let's put these in first. Now, one of the things I want to figure out how to properly place is just knowing where we should have these like decorated and how I should place everything. Because I want to make sure that we have enough for... Um, enough room, but also making sure that, yeah, it's like decorated well, there's enough room, there's everything I'll need in here. Like I need to have storage for the emeralds and for all of the different just supplies, the iron, all of the things, but it's a small footprint and I need to light it well. So we've got some things to sort. Now, I think I wanna do some trap doors underneath here like so and then the thing to figure out is how do we make this look good I could just leave it like that you know very simple or I've thought about making like a wall so that there's like doors here for that but then that just looked strange because it eh, it was like even smaller of a footprint in here so I'm trying to balance it all. And let's see, what am I missing? Okay, so if I put two here, what's the bottom of this look like? I'm curious now. <gasps> Ooh, oh yes, that's wonderful. That literally works so, so good. Haha, <laughs> yes. I love when things just start like coming together and looking good. It's so Makes me happy, okay. So I think what I wanna do is I do really like these chests and you get three drawers. I do think that the chests look nicer. So did I have extra chests somewhere? I might've put them away. Um, I do have enough iron to probably make some of the brazers too. So let's uh, grab some iron. Oh boy. 
Did they find another spot to spawn? <laughs> where are you spawning? <laughs> uh, where are you spawning from, Gagoons? Uh, oh my gosh. I swear. Is it down here again? Did you figure out another cave to spawn into? You sillies. Oh my gosh, you goon, you're up there! I s just... <laughs> Uh, it's so funny. Just what I think I've figured out. Like, yeah, no more spawns. False. All the spawns. Oh, now there's skellies. My goodness. My goodness, really? Okay. Okay. Fine. We, we fix the things up here. It's so funny to me how like every time I'm like, yeah, I've got it. Nothing will spawn here. Something spawns. Something's always trying to spawn. You having a good time? You're having a grand old time, aren't ya? Let's have you, uh, Move out of the way. You. How does your footprint work? Holy moly, that's a big footprint. Can you just go off the edge? Just go off the edge. Down you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, I think, ah, <laughs> uh, literally every time I'm like, I think I fixed it. <laughs> so I'm always kind of nervous to see if I actually fixed it. Oh, that didn't take you long. You were not in good, not, not in good health. And again, you were already a very cracked golem. Not in the good kind of cracked though. Okay. Okay, I think... <laughs> I think now we've got it. Ay, ay, ay. It's just it's funny to me. Comical. Okay, I can hear the... Iron Golem hurt, hurting noises again, so at least... They're not spawning where they shouldn't temporarily. Vein mining, so we've got that. So we grab all the coal. And this is not the silk touch one. So let's try vein mining with silk touch. I'm curious to see how that works. Oh yeah, okay. It works exactly how I would imagine it. Good, I'm glad. You get the whole ore block. That's what I was hoping that it would do. Okay. I can hear the iron golems burning, but it sounds almost like there's a rave party going on upstairs. Just very slow, slightly. It's just the dun, dun, dun from the golems. I think all of these now have slabs. So everything else should be good. Even ones that didn't need to be there. I like don't trust this anymore. I'm just like, I'm just gonna try to spawn anywhere you can. Okay, this does look really pretty though with the uh, the cobblestone bricks. I will say, it is pretty. Pretty neat. I think we're good. Uh. Okay. We're, we'll leave that and check on it later. 
Ay, ay, ay. Literally me this entire time is just assuming that I've spawned correctly. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, let's uh, let's put the the silk touch vein miner back. I like that you can choose if I want to collect all of the ore blocks at once or the ores themselves. That is actually very nice. I like that feature. Okay. I wanted to create those brazers, so I'm actually gonna grab some of my iron. Okay, good. Look, they're they're giving me iron. Yay. I think we're we're good. I think it will work. Now if I type in brazer, brazer. Perfect. How do you make the solo ones? Oh sure, yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Okay. So we've got these, and then we've got, oh, I was like, I have coal. What are we talking about? And then I want to make some chains as well. So what was the chain? I think it was like this. Yes, okay, perfect. So then the chains we're going to have be uh, hanging down on the sides. And then another cool thing I thought about doing and that I think would be kind of fun was if um, I kind of use some chains horizontally and we make it look like a nice little line of just the chains going across this so like this I can oh is this not gonna go hmm or did I do it right here oh it won't work okay with how I positioned things that's okay this looks nice how it is don't need to have chains but we can have some chains right there or does that look a little funky I actually think it looks like they're kind of like supported, so I like that idea. Let's let's leave it. And on the other side, I like how I can just come out on the side too. It's kind of fun. And we'll add in on the sides here. We'll do. A, we'll see about two chains or one chain. I think that that looks nice. We'll do two chains. Chains. I like it. And we'll jump up here. Perfect. Okay. And then we get this fixed. And now the other thing, we've got a bunch of paper, so I can make those paper lanterns again. My favorite little things. Ooh, a present. Or paper lanterns. They're so pretty. I love them so much. Okay, so the paper lanterns, I think, could look good. Like so. But it's also almost too much light side by side. Imagine if I just accidentally just broke them. That would be sad. Maybe we do one there, one there there and one on the inside. Ooh, we also need to have something, maybe we just have on the inside of this, we have a paper lantern. We can have like two, let's see how that looks. Does that look funny? Does that look good? I feel like they almost need to be like on the ground. These are just incredibly hard to break. So let's try that. Oh, it looks a little better. I wish this would have been like three wide. Like I could have made this one wider and then done it a little differently, but I didn't want it to be too big. 
Also, I really like how I have all the diamonds showing. Like if I just take this off, it looks like my backpack blends in because it is made of diamonds, so it fits very well. And I've, oh, gold boy, hi buddy. I need to take a snooze though, so can you like not be here? Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, can I sleep in here? Is there enough space? Oh, there is, that's so fun. I can sleep here like it's a little, little project. Little fun, little spot. I could make this into like a fun little, uh, kind of like hidden place too. You know, a little sneaky spot. So I just need to make sure that this would look good. Like, it could almost be a little hideout. And you wouldn't necessarily, like, see it right off the bat, right? But it's kind of fun. Especially if we use, like, the slabs. We could drop this down. And then go like so. And like so. Kind of makes it fun. So what if I do that? Because then what we could do is just hide some light in here. And then it would glow in here and it would still look really nice. Because if I have the floors like calcite all the way through, it's literally like two blocks. So it's like very small, but it's still some place that I could kind of hide or just kind of relax in. But maybe what we do is have the bottom slabs and some stairs. Because let me just look at this. This actually gives it more of an illusion of it being larger upstairs and there being more space, which is kind of fun. So I actually do kind of like that. And then it's kind of just like a, you just end up hopping up the side here and it's kind of like a secret entrance that you can't really like, you don't really know about, you know? So it's kind of cool. Uh, so let's, I just need four. And then I don't exactly know how many of those I'll need, but we'll just grab those. This will be cool. I'm just decorating secret hideouts. <laughs> way more fun though, right? Secret hideouts are way more fun. Oops, gotta make sure that stays there. Okay. We've got these corners. Goodness, calcite breaks so quick. Kind of scary. I'm not trying to go that quick. <laughs> I want, I want this to stay in peace. Stay intact, please. Yes, this already is gonna look way nicer, and nothing will spawn up here either. Oh, it's kind of nice. I like it. Okay, let's add more to it. I'm a fan. All right. I think this should be good. I do like that it is giving like more space up into this area. And it'll glow at night, which will be cool. I'm excited. I think it's great. And then we need to get rid of There we go, look at that. And then it'll look nice. And we can even add these. Which, if I keep them on the outside, I think that'll probably look better. Yeah, look at that. And then we'll add leaves on the sides. So I would say the exterior is done. This, there's not a whole lot of space to kind of get any like true decorations. We could try doing, oh jeepers, just, just grabs it all. <laughs> uh, we could try doing this and having the slabs, oh my lanta, kind of angle up, and then I could place down some pots and things. So if it goes like so, we can also just use full blocks the same way like that. 
but at least this way I could like place down some uh, some chains we could place down some pots we could place down some like extra storage some hidden things different fun little things but I like that I think it's time to move on to decorating the rest of the interior because I've definitely gotten just a bit distracted but I'm, I'm okay with it you know it's it's a fun little thing experiment to kind of figure it all out now i do want more of these paper lanterns and i don't think i'm gonna keep paper lanterns here we're gonna bring them inside because i think they'll look prettier there frankly now for paper lanterns we're going to be putting a bunch of these right here hmm. and then we're going to have So I was thinking we probably just place that there and that'll kind of be our light. And I still need to figure out what to do here. I think I'm probably just going to make some of these drawers again. It's probably the best thing to try. So if I go back to doing a Sakura, we can get that. And I think if we just add some more logs here, we can get more of them. So then, if this is like so, I don't think they look bad. <laughs> they kind of look like filing cabinets to me, so I don't know how I feel about that being like just filing cabinets, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Um, but let's add some on this side. But I don't know. I don't know if they look like filing cabinets to you. They look like filing cabinets to me. <laughs> but if I go sideways, I feel like this is becoming too much of the Sakura wood, so I might just leave this. Because I want to have brooms that we can place down some little pots and things, some decorations. But what's most important to have in here is we will want to have a furnace. So I'm just going to make a furnace in here. I think the other things we'll want in here. We've got a furnace. Maybe we have this side be where the furnace goes. We'll have a furnace in here. We have a blast furnace and smithing tables downstairs. Um, everything that would be connected to an iron farm. We want a furnace to cook up some stuff. Ooh, wait. Is that gonna stay now? Wait, how come this day is here? I, I'd prefer to have the lookup thing be on all of my things because I don't have a lookup thing on the crafting table now. I have to like type it in over here, which takes longer. It takes way longer. Interesting. I just kind of noticed that was a thing. You can cook all these things and all the stone variants and all just the other things. Interesting, very interesting. All right, so maybe we do two furnaces because I like to keep things symmetrical and even. So we've got two furnaces, we've got some fuel going in there. And then I think we're going to call this good. We'll add in some pots and things right here. We could see about adding in some different flooring, but I honestly don't really have carpet because I don't have that much. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of wool. So the next thing we want to grab is we're going to grab some azaleas and some plants to put in our pots. The fun little cute things. Maybe I'll bring a chest in there. I think that'll be good to have in there. Um... Let's also bring a grindstone, just because we'll have enchanted tools, and if I don't like the enchants, then I can just take them away. We'll bring some candles. I think that will be a nice in there. Oh, we can do a little thatching in there. That'll be nice. And then, let's see. I know I have some more of those ropes that I really like, so let's see if we can find those and grab some little plants. Now, we'll grab... One of you. Ooh, definitely a spore blossom. And then we'll grab. We do need some azaleas. 
I think this should be enough for what we need. We don't need a whole lot. But I want at least... Yeah, we'll do an allium and then some candles. And I should have my flint and steel, so we're good. Then, what else did I want to look for? Oh yeah, my rope. My favorite rope. Do I have it? I know I've grabbed a bunch of it. So, what matters? What? I have one rope? I, I was pretty sure I grabbed more, unless I just used it for decoration on a bunch of stuff. Which, it's very likely that that is the case. Not in here. Huh. Strange. Very strange. Yeah, I don't see my curly Q rope. I don't see it anywhere. That's a bummer. Okay. Well, we, we got other things. All right, we've got a little pot. We add in our little allium. And then we add in some candles. I feel like I almost... Let's do the candles over here. And then we'll put the furnace there to kind of do some balance and contrast. Candles can go here. We'll grab our flint and steel, light our candles. Put that back. And then the thatching. We'll put the coal back in there. There, that's kind of nice. I might want more of that just because I actually really think that looks good. But then if I go like so, the grindstone can fit right there. And then I did want to have a spore blossom. And we can go like that. Get some particles in our nice little, little spot here. And I actually think we're not going to do a chest. I don't think it really fits. There's not a lot of space. So I think I'm just going to maybe add like very few little greenery bits in here. But then we're going to call it good in the interior. So if I go like so... And I don't want... I'll just go like that. There. So then we have a grindstone, we've got a light, we've got some candles. We can pop down our little spot whenever we need to. We've got some thatching. It's quaint. It's very kind of compact but we've got furnaces we've got tons of storage and if we felt like it we could almost just add some storage all around this now this canvas rug i like the idea of the rugs so let's just see how we make the rugs so to craft it we need canvas and canvas is straw straw i think we get from rice yeah, okay, so when we cut some wild rice, it gives us rice in the straw. So we just need to cut some wild rice, and I think we have some rice to plant, so that's so we can get more of these, but I would definitely just put two more here, just so that this is like an even kind of like runway. But I think this is cute for how small it is. We got some color pop. Actually, what if we dye the candles red because of it being the iron farm? Yeah still working okay i'm just so nervous that we're we've just figured out oh another spot where the golems are just spawning i feel like red oh okay never mind one candle at a time for one die good to know yes you are very loud but i appreciate you <laughs> We have unlimited iron now, and I think I'm just going to do some, like, off-camera leveling up of the villagers, just because I feel like, I don't know if that's, I feel like that's not very interesting to watch, if I'm being honest, so it's, 
Yeah, definitely having the color is so much better. And honestly, I think what if we just don't do an allium? And what if we just do the poppy? Because I feel like if we have it themed like it's an iron farm, it's just very fitting. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of these because we can plant them outside. And if we go like so. Okay, now we've got the, the poppy in there because it's iron. And we've got red candles that were dyed by poppies from the iron farm. I really like that. That feels, that feels good. I'm a, a huge fan of that. And then if we just kind of have some of these just scattered, I think that'll be nice. Kind of like a mini garden in a way, you know, like just all up and down the sides of the hill along the path. We'll obviously fix the path because it's a little sad and just chaotic right now. And what's also going to be really nice about having the, uh, the paper lanterns is we can hang them from the trees instead of these torches. I was just thinking this as we passed by. And then it'll look so much cuter. I'm excited. And then I can make like little shelves. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, we're doing that on the other side. I love how I just have a, a torch in there. <laughs> okay. So we make some more. Hmm. That feels like it's a little too high up, so I'm gonna lower this. Right how I had it on the other side, honestly, looked best. I like it. Fun. And then, I mean, on the back we could do some more, but I really don't feel like I'm going to. I think we'll just leave the back. We might just put some more uh, dirt down. Just adding some more, just leave some poppies in the back, removing all these cherry leaves because it doesn't fit the vibe. But I think this looks way better. Just adding more of the poppies around. I think the poppies look at, make it look really cute, really good. And then we're just gonna add some leaves on the, uh, the roof. Gotta add, add some on the roof. I'm, I'm just thinking how excited I am that we finally have some, uh, some good, some good iron source coming through. It's very exciting. It's honestly a relief because I want to be able to build more, but I don't want to break the bank on building with the iron, you know? And the fun fact also of the matter, ooh. I need, okay. We uh, we now can trade iron to the villagers that I put in there because now we can just not worry about it and just get the goods. Get some iron traded, get emeralds, then we can get all the other things that I was just talking about um, a bit ago, like for the occultist, like getting some like blaze powder and things where I don't wanna go to the nether. I can just get them without going to the nether which is incredible in my opinion, so I'm very excited for that. Now, let's do some looking around to see. I think I'm gonna put two right there. Just fill in this spot and that spot. Let's look again. Yeah, I like that. We're not gonna do like a whole lot of the branches. I think we're just gonna do a little bit sparingly. Um, I don't want it to be too much. Okay, and then like so, like so, oops, owie. Uh, one has to go there, and then breaking this spot up. 
And then if we look here, um, the Sakura tree has to go. <laughs> kind of, you're kind of growing the wrong way, my friend. There we go. Now it drops. Okay. Because this was a little too far over, but I needed something to be on the side. And this is getting removed. I think this will be better. Yeah, and then we'll just put one there and that should look good. Then we can do the other side. And then I have to jump around. Get up here. And where was I saying needed it? Let's see. Honestly, we could just place it right here. Let's see how that looks. Um... Yeah. I think that'll be good. Maybe we stick one right there. See how that looks. Yeah, that's the play. And then on this other side, we're gonna try to fill in this, like, more shadowed spot. And then come off to this side more. Because we came a little bit more down here. I want to come off to this side more. So let's try that. So if I back up a little bit. I almost feel like there has to be something right here. Oh, it's starting to lightning. Um, I'm gonna take a snooze. I don't want there to be lightning. I'm literally on top of a roof sleeping in the rain. I think it's going away. Yeah. Oh, look at the rainbow. Hang on. Look at that. <gasps> Aw, that's so cute. Me and my little house. That's adorable. Actually so cute. Minus the big pillar. That's, oh, I love how it's particles everywhere with the stars. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. I'm a huge fan. It looks so good. Okay. Need to not keep getting distracted. I think I do want something to be here because my other ones I don't have on the side here. And I think I want to drape something off the edge right there. So we're going to try this. And then see how that looks. Uh, nope, don't actually like that at all. <laughs> but this is why we try. We try things until we figure out we like it or we don't like it. And then come off to the side here. And then... Yeah, I think if we just drape it, we should be good. I might actually remove this block and do some of that. Let me see how this looks. Yeah. I think, uh, I think that'll work nicely. I'm curious how it'll look if I can just... Put some in front. Just a little. I think I like that. That looks just fine. And we'll jump down. Let's grab this and make it be this. I have a feeling I won't like that. Yeah, that looks like way too much greenery. So. I think I just put that block back on. Hmm. Let's 
Let's look closer. Yeah, this is supposed to be right side. There we go. Okay. So I think if we just... We'll remove this. That was a little too much. And then if we remove this top one, I think that should be better. Yeah, okay. And then we'll go to the other side. No, I don't want to jinx it, but I haven't seen those mean pillagers that throw things uh, in a bit. Very happy about that. They would always interrupt me from building. It would be very annoying. <laughs> uh. Okay. And then on this side, let's take a look further back. And we could try to drape it over this spot. So if we back up a little bit. And then we take a step back, and let's see what it looks like if we just put these little drape downs further. Hmm. I feel like it needs something right here. Now let's take a look back. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I think we'll leave it like so. And we do have some extra, you know, space and things to add in some other little details. We've got a pot, and we can add some alliums upstairs in that little spot. Just for fun. You know, just kind of make it a little, little cute, fun place. Put a crafting table up there. Just some little fun things. Hmm, kind of looks a little funny. But we could go like so. And then we put the crafting table in. So then we could make like a little chair out of the sakura. It's kind of fun, right? Little chairs. We could put it right there. I don't think you can see that. Right? I mean, like, kind of, you can barely see it, which I think works really well. The secret, the secret crafting tables in the ceiling. And just so I don't have to worry about just not knowing which one is which, you know, we'll just have to. There we go, look at that. Nice little, little chair. And yeah, just some little spots to hang out. I think... Yeah, there's not really like a whole lot of space to add some like pops of greenery, but we can do a little bit. Just a little. There, now it's a little bit more decorated up here. There's the lights, we've got some drawers, we've got some little chairs on little spots. And then we can just look out the sides here, but I think this is really cute. Like, look at me! Look at me just chilling up there, it's so cute! I love that. It's so fun. Yes. Cute! Okay. So then, 
this spot is done. We've got all of the leaves in place. I'm, I'm happy about that. We've got a bunch of little poppies around. This looks so cool. And then we've got some nice little thatching in here. We've got some barrel, or not barrels, but we've got some drawers for storage. This can be down when it needs to be. We've got candles and poppies that are red. Grindstone, little furnaces, all the goodies. I like it. Look at this, it's so cool. I love it. I'm a huge fan. Now I do need to put away things, which I'm not as huge a fan of this. But let's uh, put some things away. Are there any things I can get rid of? You can hear the iron golems, that's lovely. And I think that's all I can fit. But I'm, I'm very happy with it. I think it is so cute. We've got both a functional build and a pretty build, which, I mean, what, what more could you need? That's like all you need in the world of Minecraft is just the cute things, you know? I know uh, I'm, I'm fine with that just being everything that we've, you know, made today, gotten done. Always feels good. Now, I'm trying to start a new chest. It's just gonna be kind of like more decorative things because I have some stuff downstairs, but it's not always, uh, I don't always, you know, have space for everything. That's my main issue. I keep running out of space for things. So I'm trying to find better ways for space and making sure that I'm gonna not run out of space for things. But I think this is just so cute. I'm happy about it. And I think I just want to put this one chest away. Here we go. Love it. Okay. We put these things away, we take a sleep, and then I can get a good view of what it looks like without everything else around it. But this is the chest I was talking about that just like has more so all of the more like decorative things that I like build with, create with, all of that. And I'm keeping the buckets in here. But it's just nice to, you know, have more of those. Because I feel like as I start building more, I'm going to want to have more space for those. Which is good. We'll, we'll not really have to run out or worry about running out of things if I just keep more of those chests on hand and around. But I think I grabbed the chests that uh, I wanted to make sure that I grabbed. Oh. Okay, we'll just, we'll just take a, a last snooze outside. <laughs> One last little sluice. Okay. I really do love the little shelves there. I think that makes it look so cute. And we got it all. Oh, we almost have it all. I don't need the seeds. There we go. Okay. Look at that. We got it. Our little build is so cute. I'm a huge fan but we've got it decorated on the outside, the exterior, lots of poppies everywhere, and a cozy little interior and little secret room upstairs. We are still getting lots of iron. I was I was hearing them going, so it's not like we uh, missed some spawn proofing. This is making us a ton of iron, which is great. And usually what I'll start doing is just putting the poppies on the bottom. And then I just uh, get this all organized and then I'll lay out all the iron like so and there we go we've got it all laid out how I like it to be all of the poppies in their little order lots of iron will be ours but that's uh that's all the time I have for this long play adventure we were able to get not only a beautiful build made, but we made it into an iron farm and I'm really happy about actually having a solid source of iron finally. And you guys got to see part of the zombie crypt today when we went to pick up all of our calcite, which I hope you thought that was kind of fun to kind of just walk through that a little bit more while being safe. And I, I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I, I did add a new mod today. I'm not probably gonna add any new mods. These capture cells made it so much easier with the villagers. I'm literally so thankful for that. But I hope you enjoyed watching this get built, both the iron farm and the cozy little build. And I hope you have a wonderful day.